So it's Sudeep Singh. <laughs> So today we have a very different type of podcast. First, we're sitting in a different location, and uh, we've got four guests on, which hopefully all speak equally as well. And uh, obviously, I'm sure most of you guys know myself and Gadavi Singh that have been doing these podcasts. And then we had uh, Rovi Singh on uh, a few months ago as well, right? And the, what was it the journey? What was it called? The title? Journey of Rome. You see, doubts and struggles or something. Doubts and struggles. I, struggles. Struggles. I like how you. Journey I like how you remember the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we actually on guard sing there as well at that time, right? What was you doing on that day? Of the podcast. Yeah. Oh, so I was behind the camera actually. So it's interesting being on this side of the camera yeah. today. And you was doing all the switching. I right? was doing all the switching. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really good. So on guard sings being the background as well, but he's actually on today. Mm. And and the reason for this is because um we all actually went uh, on a little journey together, right? Andy. <laughs> little journey <laughs> Yeah little, It was a big journey right mm. Yeah All the way to India Yeah So um, that was back in February mm. uh, Me and Karibi Singh flew out to India On the 21st Right Monday the 21st Monday of the February 21st, yeah. Right And then you guys flew out when? 4th, 4th of, of March fifth, Yeah 4th, 4th of, of fifth, March one of those. Mm. So me and Karibi spent about a few weeks in India beforehand and these, then these guys joined us and there was another person, uh, your brother, Bambi Singh, but yeah. <laughs> he wasn't in the, we made some vlogs as well, right? Yeah. Uh, which, uh, which we're going to explain in this video. Mm. And uh, that was starting a new series on this channel called uh, the, the Boss TV Vlogs, I guess, yeah. isn't it? And so we've been speaking about it for a while, right? That we're going to do this kind of type of informal vlog content. Mm -hmm. um, so the first <clears throat> series of these vlogs will be our trip to India, which yeah. is going to be quite cool. And this podcast today, we just wanted to talk about our journey and experiences. Because it's obviously different when in a vlog and then when we sit afterwards and reflect back. So uh, there's some quite funny stories as well. So. There's a lot of funny stories, a lot of bickering as well, right? So <laughs> hopefully we might get some of that on this podcast as no. well. Have a bit of drama, but we'll see what happens <laughs> when, it, when it comes to that <laughs> stuff. Steve loves it. This one's just a fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's just a fun. It's funny though, isn't it? And it shows that, you know, people can have a bit of a laugh. Obviously, you know, it, you know, sometimes you get a bit annoyed with each other, but it's all love at the end of the yeah, day, no, isn't definitely, it? Yeah, definitely. Right, and, it's, and it's quite funny to watch. I ain't gonna lie. Because <laughs> I just, I think me and Karabi sing fight in it, and then you two fight in it. And that kind it's of just banter, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, we do, we do cuss each other out a lot. Yeah. By the end of the day, you know, we, we're still little brothers. And <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe but obviously maybe. can't take it seriously yeah. <laughs> so, Every, everything's like a uh, a movie quote with him isn't it everything's like really <laughs> it's so all dramatic or a food yeah. recipe yeah it's really good though it's, it's, mm -hmm. so that's me so oh, you can probably see it already now that's why you need to watch the vlogs because <laughs> it, this filled with so much uh, just you know entertainment and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of sick here it's not, it's very educational, but mm. like we said before with Boss TV, it's about providing Sikhi Parjad in a, a different kind of way, in it? a yeah. bit more fun, a bit more relaxed. So hopefully to see that um, throughout these, um, this podcast, but also by watching the vlogs. A question for you guys then, um, India. So have you guys been to India a lot of times in the past? So we went on a few yatra with school. We went to Guru Nanak Sikh Academy. And uh, the first one, I think we went to Hazur Saib for a bit. For like one day. One day. And then we we did have quite a good holiday after that, didn't we? Yeah. Went to like Bombay, Goa. Yeah. Um, we went to a few other places as well, didn't we? Yeah. And then the year after we did uh, Punjabi Yatra, we went to our city, Amritsar Sahib. Um, we did quite a lot of local Gurdwara there, didn't we? Mm. Like Gurdwara Sahib. Gurdwara Bowley Sahib. Yeah, that definitely stuck in my mind because we, it was great because we went with school. So there was about 30 of us with our teachers as well. And uh, we got to do a Japji Sahib in the Bowley Sahib as well. Okay. And that's, that's really stuck with me mm. from that trip. Mm. How about yourself? Uh, yeah, and we also got to go to Nanak Sir, mm -hmm. um, Jagrao Nanak Sir. I remember that all the kids, uh, like we were young then, yeah. like 16, uh, 17, 18, and we all went down into the uh, Bora Sahib. Mm. And uh, we literally, imagine like some of these people have never done like Moon Mantar before, right? And after that, they they were all clocking out the Mali. Yeah, it's because oh, okay. when you go into the Bora Sahib, there's a sign outside. Yeah. That says if you want to come down, you need to do X amount of job, and uh, like prayers basically. Yeah, yeah, but it was amazing that everyone on that trip, whether you could say they were into Sikhi a lot or not, mm. not not even Amritari. Right? Yeah, everyone decided they did want to go down and yeah. they did want to do the job. Yeah, and after that trip, actually, and they, we kind of brought that back to the school. Yeah, as well. yeah. 
So like that whole um, sangat and environment of yeah, like yeah, doing yeah. the jobs and stuff mm. like that. Mm. And then we had, we did like weekly yeah. um, stuff at school. Yeah, I remember that, that that final year of school was amazing because yeah, everyone really was doing job. Mm. Imagine like going to school. We were very mm. lucky like that. Mm. So, we got so to go to a sick school. Yeah, that's a, uh, you could say an effect of a yatra mm-hmm. that when you go to a place like that, it inspires everyone. Yeah, yeah. And they, we brought that back to UK and like, they, we just imagine in a school six homers <laughs> mm. yeah, we wanted to do jobs and yeah. stuff so it's amazing like in our lunch times I don't know what other schools get up to in lunch times mm. but sometimes <laughs> he said that's a true like what do you do a Monday do yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you know it's good yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but what we used to do some like some lunch times is have like sikhi club mm-hmm. and i remember that's a few it. times by jagrad singh ji came to do talks as well yeah, yeah. and those are amazing amazing talks mm-hmm. so i you could say that the effect of the yatra it had such an effect on everyone not just the 30 students who went but when we came back and they spread that message to the whole sixth form mm. i'd say maybe like 60 70 percent yeah of the sixth form was doing jobs 100 yeah. percent for that whole year that we yeah. were there yeah Definitely, and that so that you had more experiences there, didn't you, on Carson? You've been in India a lot of times. Yeah, you so after, ages in India. So right? after that, uh, I've been probably every every year. Hmm. After that, I've been on many trips um, with my family again. My dad, hmm. my dad in particular, he's got he's very fond of going to India and um, documenting things. So he's done a lot of when there's a, a big program, for example, Gunan Devji's five hundred fiftieth Prakash. I was lucky enough to go then. Mm. Even went to Pakistan then as well. Mm-hmm, mm. And uh, so we got to, doc- I get to document that with my dad. My dad gets all the access to all these places and I'm just following him around. Mm. So I got to see that. We went to Guru Gobind Sindhi's 350th Padakash Purib. That stuck in my head as well in mm. Sidi Patna Sahib. Um, I went to Amritsar Sahib for quite a long period of time as well. Mm. Where I spent literally every single day at the Bar Sahib for a few months. Wow. And you said six months to me. How long was it? It was just over four months. Wow. Every uh, day I had a, I had a mandir assignment. Yeah, had had such an amazing time. That mm. was, I think that was in 2017 maybe. Mm. A few years ago. I think actually before that. And you must have been like in your early 20s then as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, I was and in my early 20s. your parents just real cool you just doing that. Yeah, luckily. Good that's, good that's really blessed. Man. And um, then yeah, every year I've been to India on a yard. Because I don't have much family there in India. Mm. I think my experience... Of going to India has probably been different from like Rohan's or someone else's. Yeah. Because every time I've gone to India, it's for Yatra purpose mm. or for the purpose of going to an Asthan, mm. for the purpose of doing Seva or documenting something mm. or going as part of a group. That's true. So that's been my that's experience really nice. of um, going to India. And that's very different to someone like Rovi saying mm-hmm. back in the day, right? Because you went for probably the most the opposite thing, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to go pretty much yearly. Um, Because I think I said it on the last podcast, mum's side of the family, our Nanake, are pretty much still in India. And even a lot of my dad's side, actually, some of my dad's first cousins and stuff. Mm. So we'd go yearly just to see family, but also, like, especially when there was a wedding or something like that. Mm. But again, Maras Kirpa, we did, obviously, there was some religious aspect as well. Like, one year, mum took us home, Kuntasab. Like, Mm. she, she, like, she organised it and she's like, Chalo, and every day, like, she took everyone. She, like, Mm. pretty much, like, led it. So that was cool. We went... I'm um, like go to Mandir Sahib mainly mm. like mm. on route airport yeah. or on the way back from the airport. And yeah. I'm so like this time it was it was a really different experience for me this time like just like really immersing yourself in in these astans and I'm not just mm. like doing a pit stop or like yeah it was different. It was different. how did you find it that you've been going to India for so many years but you've never really had that sort of okay let me go to this astan this astan it was quite revealing for you. Yeah, it was how a- how many like this is a the land of our gurus, right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Was, especially when we went like Hazur Sahib and stuff. It was my first time going Hazur Sahib, mm. and because there's so much at the answer there, I think it really hits you, Hannah. Like that that point that Uncle just said. Like this is where our, our gurus have been, Hannah. So mm. that that point coming to India, it is really like I, 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 after, straight after I asked, asked my manager at work, I was like, "Is it possible to work from India?" <laughs> like I, I, I just want to go back there. <laughs> like, India is just a, it's just a different feeling, Hannah. Mm. So yes, yeah, wicked. Now that's that's a really good point, and uh, I think definitely for myself as well. When I was younger, I just go to the bend, mm-hmm. so we wouldn't actually go to any astans. Maybe when I was like five years old, we went, but you don't remember nothing when you're like yeah, five yeah, years old, yeah. isn't it? Uh, so I used to hate going to India because you just be staying in the bend in the village, <laughs> right? And just you just sit there all day looking at the fan, 
in the ceiling, <laughs> just spinning around. Oh, I used to love going to the pin. Yeah, I loved it, man. I, 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 it's I like a very simple it. lifestyle and like yeah. clean, organic food. And like, what more could you ask for? Is on, no. on Gordo, I'm, I'm an idiot because <laughs> I said to him, like, I, only, I, I say only, I had about, like, what, nine, ten days in my nana gave with my nanny and stuff and I was like it didn't feel like enough mm. and like you know did, because I told him that before when we'd go it was the opposite mm. we'd mainly stay at home yeah. and then like maybe do a day trip to like Lara Sabo go go Nanak Sabo go to mm. like local Pindu Gurdwara and I was saying as well like we didn't even know so my dad's and Nanak was Bopadai mm. is Bopadai and we used to stay Bopadai quite a lot as well because it's not far from our Nanak only 5-10 minutes mm. and then afterwards like 2-3 years ago when I started reading Gyan Gurna He's like, well, Bopadai comes up a lot. And I was yeah. like, I was like, mad, like, this was such, this is such, it, it, it's steeped in so much history. Mm. We went so often and we didn't even know, you know. But then it's nice that now we do know and we can go to all these mm. places. And like, I feel, we, we felt like it's really blessed, you know, that it's not, it's not far from us at all. And I think that point of not taking these things for granted, isn't it? And when you go with things and you have the sort of, okay, we're here, like, for Yatara. Mm. Like you learn, you learn a lot more as well, isn't it? So um, you appreciate like, that. That's one thing. Now I went home, home, going to as as a monna. I didn't know much, and I always feel like I'd love to go again. Yeah, like I, don't, I don't think you appreciate going. Maybe you had the same thing when you go as a as a non practicing Sikh and you don't really like you're just doing the matadeg and to leave or like yo, my, our mom is hot man. Let's go, let's get yeah. out of here. <laughs> you don't appreciate it, Hannah, but this time I feel like I, I really appreciate it, Mahdoz mm. Kudpa. Mm. And just on that, even the effect of going as a group. Yeah. Makes a big difference mm, uh, as, sure. as opposed to going on your own on the Yatra. Mm. Like we, we had a Pan Singh, right? Yeah. So five yeah. of us and it, it felt really nice like when we travelled to places and like we did the like Pan Sarovar Ishnan and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. Definitely. And yeah, uh, just no, just not to make the introduction too long, just one last question before we jump into actual travelling and the journey. Mm. Um, in terms of doing this stuff, going to India, going on these spiritual journeys, these Yatras, um, how do you think it affects your Sikhi? How has it helped you? How does it help you guys? You know, Sikhi is like, oh, it's just something that I do. Um, just all yourselves personally, you made from Karavi Singh going across. Um, how does it, do, do you feel a difference when you go? Would you recommend it to anyone who's listening? <coughs> yeah, 100%. It, it always makes a difference. Like if, you, if you're going to go and see Guru Sahib anywhere, mm. it's going to make a difference, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's extra special when you go and see the actual places where Guru Sahib walked mm. and like the, the artifacts and stuff like that. Maharaj is Shastar. So it does, it makes a big impact and it's going to have some asana on you. So definitely. Mm, definitely, I agree with Karanweed as well. And I think definitely when you come back and the yearning you feel, that I want to go back. I don't you know. You, like when you go to a Sikhi camp, you have the camp of blues. Mm-hmm. Like when I came out from the Yadra, I had a similar thing. Like I just wanted to go back. But then I thought to myself that if if you're practicing what you're practicing there in your home life, mm. that's basically like going back as well, isn't it? Mm. So if you do go to the Gurdwara every day and see Maharaj every day, if you brought that back, like for example, we might talk about this later about how the practice of Nishan Sahib that, that came up in our vlog, we talked about it, yeah. of how when you went to India, we used to go in and do darshan of the Nishan Sahib first. Just bringing little things like that back with you and hopefully they can impact your daily life a bit more as well. Mm. Yeah, well definitely, I would recommend it to everyone definitely. to go on Yadra, even on your own. I've done both. I've gone on my own, I've gone as a big group, I've gone as a small group and each experience has been different but all have been amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to, it's generally, I know people say it a lot, it's cliche, it's hard to put into words. Mm. Like it, was, it, was a, it was amazing. For me, the first time going on like a group yatra like that, it was wicked. But I mean, the, the one thing I would say, like, you know, in the intro, you were talking about why we vlogged it. I think, I didn't realise, I checked, I was checking afterwards, like, there are a lot of like non-Sikhs who vlog going to the Godora and they get loads of views, yeah? Mm. And they're not even going to go into the Atiyas or like talk about why it's so special. It's more like, Wow, this looks amazing, which is obviously a good part. Mm. But like the reason these vlogs I would definitely say to people to watch is because like, I felt blessed that I went with you guys who have who have like more knowledge than than Arm Banda would. And but and you find out these things that you wouldn't normally find out in it. Now that's yeah. one thing I was saying to Bevan also, I was like, yo, like if we went on our own, we probably like not giving you a lot of bump on that, but like it's it's that's a good thing about going in groups. I know like mm. on God will tell you one thing and you will tell us the they are or something. Kind of, we will mention something, and it's like really nice to. to I think then you appreciate it even more mm-hmm. like these vlogs and stuff. Yeah, don't check out Gorda Man Goes Amritsar. Check out basics. <laughs> and, and just vlogs. on that, we got let down by one of the vlogs, right? <laughs> the food ranger. 
was it him oh yeah he yeah, went yeah. to the case of the tabba and <laughs> number sir sir right? number sir yeah. sir and we all like yo this is going to be amazing no, it's because he big deal yeah. like it was be some no, cuz you know what before before um you guys came to amritsar mm. i was searching it quite a bit yeah. best best at tabba in amritsar <laughs> and that, that's the one that came up on all these uh, how you translate tabba in english it's like a like a food food like a fast food restaurant kind yeah, of thing basically. Because, yeah basically like, well, uh, loosely but it's like that's what basically tabba is in mm-hmm. it yeah mm-hmm. and where they have really nice like indian food mm-hmm. uh and uh, this one was actually really nice apparently in it the best it's meant to be the best in amritsar it, it was good Mm. But for right, for like what it was being sold as, so on God's sake, the way his eyes lit up and his cheeks were glowing and stuff, <laughs> like he was going to such. It was yeah. overhyped. It was yeah, overhyped. Because yeah. you're eating like oh, this is nice, but it wasn't like. Yeah. No, like we we had we can talk. We're probably going to talk about it later, but we mm. did have better. We went to better Dubai and Amritsar as well. Yeah, even Domino's is better. <laughs> <laughs> Domino's is good as well. Really good. So no, definitely it's a uh, it's an experience going to India. And uh, even when we was at um, Hazur Sahib on the punk theater, that was on the wall as well. Uh, the Jithe Baba Pair that are Pujan Asana Thapana Sova. Right, wherever the Guru puts their feet, that place is um very blessed. Right? And, we, and we worship that place. So a lot of the places we went to was where the the Guru went themselves as well. Right. Mm. So to be able to go to those same places and to think that actually you know what the Chara Sahibs are, they were here. You know that we went to Fatih Garu Sahib and that this is where they gave Shahidi. It really brings thing. It brings the history to life, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like we've been hearing for so many years through this channel, the basics channel, any other prachar or katha. So it, it really brings it to life. Uh, so definitely, we'd recommend it. It really does boost your sikhi. And just being in that land, it's it's. Uh, and I think you appreciate it more when you come back. Definitely, isn't it? When mm-hmm. you're in it, it's a bit like you know, mm, it's good, but you're tired sometimes. Yeah, yeah definitely. You want to limp, car. Mm-hmm. You know, you got got to be singing your face with the camera all the time, <laughs> asking so so good evening, what's going on <laughs> and stuff. And it, on God, he wants to go to a tabba, but you won't have longer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah, like he's like, why do you want to go there for? <laughs> you go to these nice places, right? Longer, huh? Longer, <laughs> longer. What's that? <laughs> yeah, well, we did have it quite quite a few times. Didn't no, we, we did. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I think I had. He's just trying to cover his back and it goes over higher, longer, knee combo. So, I did recommend it once though, you remember? When? In Sidi Umar Sahib. That was in the dream. <laughs> I don't remember I've, that. I remember we were going to... I think gonna, it was me, you know. I don't no, think no, it was, it was definitely me. We were thinking of what we're going to eat and I said, why don't we have Guru Ram Das these days? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. I, I did say that. I, I think I said less and longer and you said yeah. 100% said that and you were like, nah, I yeah, that's... I did, didn't I? I did say that. Yeah, I but did. I, did. I, think, oh, I, I think I started that. You, you obviously would have said less and longer anyway, but it was the only time... But the way he said that... the only time he said less and longer. But the way he said that the Guru Ram Das is longer, that sounds very... Like very Mo- like everything's a movie script for them. Everything is <laughs> drama. Drama, yeah. Uh, so, so on that note, then she talk about how this trip even came about. Then that's another one as well, mm. right? Mm. So like, I think it was, initially it was just so I usually go to India every February, innit? So Sukdeep so Singh's getting married. <laughs> Why would and you this, mess? <laughs> like, this is this was meant to be like a stag. This is meant to be a stag. Yeah. You're being serious. <laughs> It wasn't meant to be a stag. Everyone says that to me. Yeah. Even so, Nessie goes, "This may sound very inappropriate, but did you? Is that your stag?" I go, first is not inappropriate, but it's not my stag. You can say it's a religious one, but the group was first called your your stag, though. It was called a stag, but I don't think we planned to go to India for a stag, did we? I don't yeah. know. That, that was a different place, but uh, I don't know. but it, it literally you FaceTime Karanvi saying you're going to go to India, then he called us mm. saying, "Yo, do you want to come?" Yeah, oh, really? that's how it that's yeah. what it was. Because I, I I kept hinting at Karanvi saying that I want to go. And I was like, you might as well come in. I didn't want to go, mom, because of the COVID thing as well. I don't, you know, this yeah. is a bit like risky. You it don't even know. So when you guys were saying it, it was in January, and that was like the Omicron and all that was in the I news. Think it was before and that, bro. It yeah. was before that, but that's when you guys start getting involved, uh, and that's when the new variant and stuff became in yeah, India. Yeah, right yeah. And no, they were going to lock down India. So uh, Ron V straight away said, "Yeah, I'm down." Yeah, and I was then, on it. Uh, yeah. On was a bit iffy, right? Oh, no, oh, I was, yeah, I was yeah, iffy no. because of the COVID thing. No, it wasn't. No, no, well, no, what no, what no. was it? You was thought your well, company was no. gonna the stock prices were gonna plummet without you, <laughs> and uh, Lidl were gonna have to make all their stuff redundant. Because it, uh, in his words, yeah. what was it? He was I'm like, literally hired for this month. This, this is the, They've hired the, me for what, year what end was it? of February. Ta- tax end or something. Yeah, a financial year end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then... So yeah, happened? but anyway. <laughs> 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 anyway. No, because that's quite interesting that you had a parallel like, mindset. Yeah, so it is, yeah, it's quite... It's, I, I, I put it to good part, actually. He, mm-hmm. That... <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, because in the, the few, few years I worked at Lidl, this month has... I've always been, like, lock-off, right? Hmm. But a few months ago, I actually moved team 
to a different team within my department mm. and uh so this month I requested the days off for, actually Rohan was telling me just calm bro calm calm and I was like no mm. and he goes at least try isn't that what you're yeah, saying yeah yeah mm. that's what he I was like, saying. at least try and I said no nah, there's no point even trying because I know mm. I'm not going to get it and he goes do a das and try mm. and then I did that I did a das and I put in my holidays I sent an email to my manager and he just said yes <laughs> straight away and he he honestly you don't understand how much he brought like bro there's no way there's no chance yeah, there's no yeah. point but we were like we were even asking bro Boris got COVID last year and even he was replaced didn't it and he's meant to be like running the country so yeah, no yeah. no job is that important yeah, it? No. anyone Honestly, there like you don't think your work is that important yeah. and, and you're you're easily replaceable yeah, yeah we're disposable remember, yeah you're sending me all these quotes by Stephen Covey <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so yeah that made a difference as well but yeah. it's definitely as I, I was shocked as soon as my manager said yes. Hmm. I was over the moon. But, but this way, he got his leave approved before I did. Yeah. Oh, and he was stressing so much. <laughs> and you've been chasing me so long yeah. as well. Yeah. So that was really cool. So then, then we got our visa sorted uh, from that moment. That, and that's, then, a, that's an experience actually, you take, doing your visa, isn't it? Yes. It's, it's long. It's headache, isn't it? It's proper long, man. It's just. <clears throat> but to be honest, it's because it's more difficult because of like, this whole COVID stuff, isn't it? Mm. And, yeah. and stuff like that. But luckily, we got that sorted out. It's not the Indian government, Dory. You're fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we started having voice and um, video calls, right? Discussing our plans of what we we're going to do and mm. go to India. Had this huge plan. We we're going to go here. Mm. We we're going to go there. It was there. actually great because we made a Google sheet. There's been yeah. a few tabs on there. I do you made it. The one tab was... Uh, did huh? you make it? I think, I think I did, didn't it? I don't know. But we had uh, we had all our dates on there. Mm. And then I, I did also your dates, what you're going to do on each day. We pretty much stuck to it. Mm. Pretty much stuck mm. to it. And then we had another tab of the Astans that we wanted to visit. Mm. I don't think we visited all of them. No. We we did Jar Takht, right? Yeah, we did. So four. the only one we left out was Sri Patna side. Yeah. So, uh, and then me and Gaurav Singh flew out first. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I thought you weren't gonna come. Like he rang me one day, goes Sukhdeep Singh, like you know, I'm I'm gonna come with you to India because but if I come, we're gonna have to record as well. And I was like, damn. I was like, but Chalo, if he wants, if he's going to come, then I've got to like negotiate with him. Because remember you saying to me, he's like, I think Gunnar is going to flop. He's saying, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, don't, I don't think he was going to come in it. I thought you were going to just flop it. Uh, like, especially because he went Canada before that as well, innit? So th this was a uh, work trip. <laughs> yeah, this is the, how he, he sold it to his family, innit? Yeah. He's and he's like, Sukhdeep Singh's my manager. Look, speak to him. <laughs> like, I remember when, uh, I remember the uh, Who first Who's your manager time. for your next trip? <laughs> Depends where you want to go. <laughs> no, 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 the one that you, the one that he's already booked. He, yeah. Is that the one you're talking I about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because he didn't tell his he didn't tell his manager that time. No, no, he didn't. goes, "Oh, what's your way?" I'm gonna, he's like, "We'll both be away at that time, isn't it, cheeky guy?" So then, gotta be saying, um, we booked our tickets right for the late February. Time. Oh, dude, talking about booking tickets, mm. I don't think you were here that day. Remember, we were all sitting oh, here on no, this no, sofa. No, no, it's not worth it. That was no, hilarious. No. Why? What happened? Basically, he was here. No, no he wasn't. wasn't he wasn't. We were trying I to get was on the phone. I think I was on the phone to you guys. I we were trying to get tickets to Nandir. And uh, <laughs> kind of we found the Air India lady. And uh, he was like, yeah, we, we want to go from... Uh, I think the flight was... Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a weird flight because it was, it was, what was happening it, was... It wasn't showing up. After, yeah, after yeah, Nandir, yeah, yeah. it was going to go somewhere else, isn't it? And you yeah. wanted to ask, can we just get off at Nandir? So we, we, she, so we wanted to go from Amritsar Sahib to Nandir, right? But the problem was that there was there was very few direct flights. It was only on certain yeah. days, mm -hmm. yeah. and so then we we saw that there was an airplane going there, but it wasn't showing up on the search results, and yeah. it wasn't showing up on Air India's system. Yeah. But it was showing up on Skyscanner, wasn't it? Yeah, it was showing so up that's on why we actually found it first. Yeah. yeah, and then we phoned the lady in Air India, and I think we were sitting here for like three hours oh, plus yeah. with the same person. An hour or two, because you just yeah. keep going back and forth. Like, no, it's not coming up on my <laughs> system, sir. <laughs> And then Karvi was like, no, look, this is this flight the, the number f from here yeah. to here. And she, he was like, it's a landing at uh, Nandir. What's the airport called? Sri Guru. Uh, Sri Guru. Sri Guru. Sri Guru. Sri Guru. But the funny like, thing was that. What is this Nandir? Yeah, what is this Nandir? She didn't <laughs> even know what, what city it was. What is this Nandir? So we were trying to explain where we want to go. That was that was very hard to do that. <laughs> well, we had a big ponga with the flights. Mm. Even so, what, yeah, yeah, you look through that then first. Yeah, mm. but I want to know the story of that time. That's when, it, that's when, so, like, a bit off topic when someone asked you, what's your good name? Oh, that was it. That was that. <laughs> that, that was in that conversation. Tell me, say what you said. Tell us that conversation. That was a funny conversation. So she asked him, what is your good name? And he said, Garanveed. And then what did you say? I was like, uh, do you want my bad name also? <laughs> well, for taking the mickey, man. 
<laughs> no, but they, <laughs> they are headaches too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you kept his composure. Yeah. This is, this is quite so late calm. at night as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And had all these lot like, uh, being like, oh, just give up. Just why are you wasting your time? Yeah, like, uh, you know, like, obviously when you're on the phone, yeah. you don't want people talking in the background. Isn't it? Everyone was in his ear, his ass thinking, God, don't be this like. Uh, He's a very calm person. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. God, I'm very, I've never yeah. seen God, I'm very angry. I just was just walking back and forth saying, God, you just cut off my hands. <laughs> and kind of still, like that. if Bubba did that, I'd probably be like, Bruv, I'd put it on me and say, What the are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but kind of was like, Just shut up. Like, oh, that's funny. Sort of. But then we eventually we saw the tickets out. So the main point of sharing this stuff is that don't leave things at last minute like we did mm-hmm. because prices get much more expensive no, as well. We, got, so, we were right though, you know that. Like when we were talking to people things like Lucky they booked a, a little bit before mm. after us and they paid like an eight fifty, nine fifty. Mm. We got us five fifty. You got yours about mm. five fifty. Six six hundred hours. Yeah, but yours are direct. So like yeah. Yeah, we still like Yeah, but like you know okay. the Hazur side flights, so I remember if you booked them two weeks earlier, we would have got direct flights and mm. we would have been a hundred pounds. Mm. But we those same flights became like two fifty. 260. No, no, but the flight got cancelled, didn't it? No, this is the direct flights to Nandir. Mm. I'm talking oh, about before, direct. right? Okay, okay. Those ones are, were really cheap. So the main point is that trying to plan, leave plan these ahead. Things, plan ahead. Yeah. Definitely important uh, with these kind of things. But then me and Karibi Singh flew out initially on the 21st of February. I um, got a flight directly to Delhi. Uh, he was, Karibi Singh was mash up on the flight because he only slept one hour because we, all the, the, the um, podcasts that we made. Mm-hmm. Are coming up in India mm-hmm. We recorded them all beforehand Then we edited them beforehand mm-hmm. And then we uploaded them So like um, the last week was a rush To like get all the work done And yeah. get like a backlog made Basically So that there's const- regular content coming out To release every week right mm-hmm. So he literally slept for one hour Then on the plane He just straight away As soon as the fl- He wanted the window seat And he fell asleep Right <laughs> Like I would have looked out the window in it. Yeah, but it's night time it was morning flight, bro. It was 12 o'clock. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was nighttime, innit? I thought it was nighttime. He's not going to know. He was nighttime. Yeah, it was nighttime night for him. He was nighttime. No, we, we got there at 3 a.m. Yeah, like, 3 a.m. In, in the morning. morning. But it was a good flight, though, because we started yeah. talking a lot about work halfway through as well, right? The time the flight um, mm. kind of just flew by mm. uh, very quickly. Then when we got to India, um, we went to an astan called uh, Blampuri, Blampuri Sahib. Mm. And uh, we stayed there for about, um, I stayed there for about 10, 11 days, right? Uh, that's where I usually go every year. That's on my break when I go to India. Mm. And it's it's a beautiful place to go to, especially um, the Nishan Sahib sale, for example. They're the biggest Nishan Sahib in the world. Mm. Uh, so um, we've got a few clips of those as well, which hopefully we could share. Mm. Or you could just go onto YouTube and just type in um, Blanc Bodhi Sahib, Nishan Sahib Seva. And uh, it's it's a really amazing experience there. The Sangat, uh, I think you can learn a lot from just doing Saad Sangat anywhere. Uh, but doing Saad Sangha there, not the Guru Sikhs, they got a lot of prem, a lot of love. So um, it was a really good experience. And every year I always go and always learn something new. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was pretty much what I did with Gadavi Singh. The Gadavi Singh left uh, mm-hmm. near the end of that trip when it was just us two and you went to another stand, right? Uh, yeah, first first I went to my bind because mm. my nana nana you were there. Mm. So I stayed with them for a couple of days and then I went to Rara Saib, okay. to uh, Big Gowal. Mm. And because uh, there were some things there, and there was, there was a smagam happening there. Okay. So I just got there for the ending of the smagam, like the last day or two. Mm. But that was really nice as well, just to go and have because there was some from UK. Anji. So I just went and like uh, stayed with them and just like took part in the smagam. So it was what really was nice. the smagam for? It just a... It's just a general like sant smagam. Okay. And they remember all the like Rara Saib sants. Oh, like the yeah. by their singji yeah, basically, by their right? Singji. Which you can learn more about in uh, hopefully a podcast that come out uh, later on this year. Uh, with by um in the Rajit Singh, but also Star Jean Pass Singh covered this last year in the Baba Isha Singh Ji mm. uh, podcast as well. And that's similar to where I was saying a blunt body say it was a Bodhisi for a saint uh, called Baba Jeet Singh Ji mm. um, um, at that time that used to do put a child in that area. So that's what me and Karavi Singh did. He basically skanked me and did the end of the trip. <laughs> I went to his own place, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kept holding that against him. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he went there and I was still in um, um blunt body side. And then we met at Amr Sahib Airport, right? Well, uh, firstly, um, Bhavan came, Bhavan Veer. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, met, yeah, Big he, met, he met me there at uh, Big Gual. Mm. And then from there, we went to Amr Sahib. You stayed in Amr Sahib for what, two days or something? We stayed there for like two nights. Okay, yeah. and you did. You just chilled and did a bit of seva, well, right? Yeah, we just chilled and did a bit of seva and stuff. Yeah, we'll go to the seva now because yeah. we go through it when we all yeah, do it together, did it together after, right? Mm. And then we met at Amr Sahib Airport. Yeah, we met on, the, on that morning. Because I said to Kadavi Singh, what time to be there for? Nine, Nine o'clock. Ten, ten? Nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, you know what time you got there? Ten thirty. Uh, <laughs> and I drove two from two I hours. Remember, I remember this convo. I think we were in the plane then. Uh, no, but I said to you nine thirty. Mm. But what time did you get there though? 
10, 10.30. It's Punjabi timing, bro. I've come from two hours away. He's down the road. That's typical kind of you. No, you know typical, why? Isn't it? I thought you were going to be late, so I told you earlier. Yeah, but I'm, I'm never late. You're always late, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we, we, we boarded the flight. And we had no, a, that's fine. And but and like, I was standing outside like a corner. We were actually owner. too early. Like We sat in the airport waiting in the terminal. Yeah, but true. But you know, when you tell some deep thing one thing and then you're the opposite and he's standing outside bad, in, 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 the, in the airport. In <laughs> the, bro, I, I wasn't like sure if he was going to leave with Land Puri Sahib. I thought he was going to just say, oh, I'll, I'm not going. No, the here. funniest thing was that he's sending me pictures of him eating tea and biscuits in the, in the Nishkam Centre. And I'm, si- <laughs> and I'm, st- I'm sitting there at the airport. Like when you leave, he goes, oh, bro, the taxi's coming any minute now. He's eating tea and biscuits, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, was that was really nice. Though. The that biscuits true. are nice. Yeah, you can talk about Nishkam biscuits after. <laughs> the char and the langar. So we got our flight then from Amritsar Sahib to Mumbai, and at the same time, you guys were leaving well, from the UK. Explain what happened. What you guys did? Now, Amritsar to when you look, we're going Amritsar to Mumbai. We were probably doing Delhi to Mumbai, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we, our, our we left then, the day before. Yeah, so f- Friday we left yeah. from Heathrow, from and Heathrow. then we took a flight from Heathrow to Abu Dhabi, mm. and then it was like a two-hour wait there. So yeah, we, that was calm. yeah that we basically calm. got off the plane. Went through security and then boarded the next flight. Yeah. Then he went from Abu Dhabi to Delhi. Yeah. And then in Delhi, at immigration, it spent quite a long time, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, at least a couple hours. So we had like least. a six hour wait and uh, ho- we were hoping to get a few hours sleep yeah, then, quick, like four, five hours sleep. You went to a hotel, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, did. no, we, got, we got about an hour, kip, an hour yeah, or two. Yeah, because immigration took so long. Yeah, it took oh. too long. Uh, so as, as, well, we got when to go we got to the hotel, hmm. actually near Delhi Airport, there's a there's a new like a hotel area, it's called Area City. It's around two minutes away, hmm. three minutes away. So lucky it was close. So we got like a, could have been potentially a great sleep, but it was like one hour max, yeah, wasn't it? Hours. So we were shattered, man. Yeah, so we, we went were. Delhi to... Mumbai, that's yeah. where we met you lot. Mm. So we were coming out of flight, and that's when we saw you lot coming out of your flight. So we literally came out the same. Yeah. T- we both landed at the same time, and we came out yeah. of the gates, and uh, and we just saw each other there. <laughs> yeah. that, that was, was a cool. nice moment, yeah. Mumbai, yeah. yeah. yeah that, was that was great. great. That was y- it seemed like you guys were in there for ages. You lot were like just a proper chilled out. We were like proper stress coming off. The that's why you guys were stressed because you were in the standing in the wrong line to go to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> to the wrong yeah. place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. was getting switched yeah. out. Yeah. Shouted out by security. Yeah. 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 So lucky, lucky, lucky. Ruan came to the rescue. Man, what are you guys doing in it? And then we went to get our luggage. Yeah. And your luggage came quickly, and ours took ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went up to um to get to the next to catch our next flight, right? Oh what no, this then? is no what happened was me and Rohan, we thought, okay, let's go and check where the next Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what our what our gate is at least. <laughs> so we what went we went off stairs to the terminal. So we, we were, were in departures. terminal two, weren't we? Yeah. So we went off stairs to the terminal. Did you at, get through those people? Yeah, we actually, they actually let us through. They let you through. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. we went upstairs and you guys actually went out, isn't it? No, no, we came They were still waiting for the luggage. Oh, so okay, we okay, came okay, upstairs yeah. as well to oh, where right. you get to the next part of the terminal oh, to get right. the connecting flight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were told you're in the wrong terminal. Yeah, so you got told the right information. Yeah. We got yeah, told yeah. the wrong information. So we went upstairs into the wrong terminal hmm. trying to look for where our gate is. We couldn't find it. Hmm. Couldn't even find the uh, airline. Yeah, because the yeah. airline doesn't work. There, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, the airline was at a different terminal. Yeah. But yeah. this just shows that Indian uh, airline system and terminals are really bad, mm. and you need they're really disorganized. Yeah, and, and the terminal wasn't like here Heathrow, like you could get a bus to the next terminal, which is like five minutes away max. This terminal was quite far away. Not that far in the temple, we got there in like 20 ten minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. It took me ten. half an hour to get there. <laughs> so and that's why you got charged so much. <laughs> So basically, we all realized we're at the wrong terminal, yeah, yeah. and our flights in like a in an hour or so. Oh yeah, we're about an hour, yeah, an yeah, hour, yeah. like four hour and a half probably in it. Mm-hmm. So we had to all get in a um, taxi to the other one. We all took different taxis. Mm. You lot took an actual car, actual, in car. It. actual yeah. taxi, actual yeah. car. We took a the tempo, the tempo is not tempo. They call it, it auto, auto, oh, yeah. auto, it's auto, a tempo, right? it's a yeah. Yeah. auto. And him and uh, your brother jumped in one. I jumped in. I thought I'd be a hero in it and go my own one in it. <laughs> and uh, we all got there. How much did you guys pay for? We your... paid two hundred for an actual car. Yeah, with AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, we got non-AC one actually. So, uh, but two hundred rupees, rupees, right? Yeah, yeah, and you and you uh, took you how long to get there? About 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah? Mm-hmm. You paid how much? We had seventy rupees. Seventy rupees. Yeah. Mm. And it took you how long to get there? 15, 20 minutes. I paid four hundred rupees. <laughs> yeah. And it took me half an hour to get there. Mm. So and you, you didn't go in a car. No. 
Huh. I was so and I didn't notice till I got to the airport. Yeah, because you were more angry about that than the actual topic of. So the, so we got <laughs> yeah, to we got to the angry. second terminal and we we saw uh, True Jet. Shout out to uh, True Jet. No, no shout out. Bro. There's no, no more no, True Jet. No, True Jet. No plug. We got there. Yeah. True Jet. We're, and on guard was calling me saying, "Bro, I think the flight's cancelled." I was like, "No, no way." No, shall I tell you what happened first? Remember that was it. We, that was it. When we were at the baggage. Yeah. And I was thinking, bro, the flight's not. I was looking at the flight our flight number. So on we Google. were in the first mm-hmm. airport. Yeah, because that, that's the reason we split up to try and find out. Mm. And I was looking, the flight doesn't exist. Yeah. Mm. And then Kenny's like, no, don't worry, bro, it's there. It must be there. Mm. And then I looked again on different websites and the flight just didn't exist. Mm. And it just didn't add up. So this is, this is then from, we still thought we had a transit. When we yeah. got to Because they said, go to Terminal 1. Mm. Yeah. So, but when we got to Terminal 1, they said, it, it's cancelled. The flight's cancelled. So this is a flight from Mumbai to Nandir. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah. So we're in Mumbai now. These are all turned up before me. Yeah. <laughs> And I've seen the message on my phone. Oh, God's like, the flight's cancelled or something. It looks like it's cancelled. I'm getting a bit worried. And I'm in a rush now. I think maybe it's not cancelled. <clears throat> and I'm like getting out of my auto. And like, how much? And he goes, 400. Yeah. I was like, 400? I was like, oh, it might be 400. Because to get from uh, Amritsar Airport <laughs> to, to the bar side, it's about 500 rupees, right? And then I come inside. You look like it's cancelled. <sighs> and I'm just like... So how much did you pay for your taxi? Yeah, yeah. He was more stressed about the taxi. <laughs> I just wanted to know the it. flight being cancelled. I was like, bad dookie about the flight. I was like, but how much did you pay? And you're like, 200. And he's like, I'm like, but that's a car though. You never know. And he goes, 70. I got 70. And that we went the exact same route. Yeah. And I was, we got the, you got that auto. I got this auto behind yeah. each other. And I said, 400. And I was so dookie. Mm. I was more dookie about that than the flight. Because yeah. I felt like the guy ripped me off. And I lost two pound fifty. <laughs> Guess how much it is, isn't it? Mm. It's not that much money, but that was proper annoying. And then you guys were trying to speak to the guy at the desk, right? Mm. Who at first was like our enemy, but became like our best friend, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He did help really us a lot. Nice, yeah. 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 So what happened there then? So do you <laughs> so, explain that briefly? So we were trying to research uh, what, how can we get to Hazur side from here, from yeah. Mumbai. We're stuck here. There's mm. no flights going there now today. Mm, no. And uh, there's actually no direct flights at all. Yeah. Because the air, all the airlines going there have been like uh, shut down. Mm. And uh, so we were like, okay, let's take a train. Let's take a, let's hire a taxi. So we were, we were, so we were all assigned like different roles. Yeah. I was on the phone to Sings in London. It, it was more chaos than that. It yeah. wasn't like we assigned. No, it, no, was, it was chaos. It was chaotic. Bro. We were, yeah. And the, the <laughs> ideas yeah. that we were coming up with, some were very, very bad as well. We were like, like your idea. <laughs> and then at one point we gave up, right? <laughs> Yeah, I because you know, is it like if we had Kulla Sama, mm. like, then it's different because like the, you know, the train journey was about thirteen hours, isn't it? Mm. But we'd already had our flight booked from yeah. Mumbai back to Amritsar, huh? Mm. So and then that flight was already booked. So then it was like, damn, it, if we're gonna go Hazur Saab and it's gonna take us 13, 14 hours, then we would, we only would have had about a day or two, isn't no, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We would only would have had two, one or two. But full we already days. had less days though. We had like I think four days, didn't we? Originally, yeah. if we got yeah, there on yeah, time, yeah. 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 And, and then with free. this one day would have definitely got cut anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was a complete mess. You know, all like doing that. I was actually all right. Cause I've, and I'm sure you guys are in the respect that it was nice that we were sings. Mm. So it wasn't that stressful as it could have been for a yeah. family. I don't think it was, yeah, stress- I think it was like more that mad. in, in our, in all our heads, we really wanted to go to Hazul Saib. And at that mm. moment it felt like it was impossible, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 That's what it is. Like, like, I think it probably fair to say, Bevan was the most like trying to say, no, nah, no, nah, we should still yeah. go, we should still go. But I'd sort of accepted it in my head. Like mm. it, like if I'll say to him, yeah, that's fine. You can kiss. You can say that, but give us a viable option, innit? Yeah. And they were like, no viable. There was options. not. We actually searched everything: trains, taxis. Yeah, and then like, and then the prices for tra- trains was a joke. Is all the geese were saying about two hundred quid. No, that and was a taxi, it, wasn't it? Remember, you they, they, you went to the taxi guys what outside. Did I say train? Yeah, yeah, so and they all said, yeah. and they all you went to all of them, and they were all like twenty thousand or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? and then it was, oh, I can't get it. No, that was mad. Yeah. Yeah. And then luckily we called one thing in the UK and he said he recommended just fly to Hyderabad and then from there you can drive and it's like five, and, six and hours. And there was a flight to Hyderabad from Mumbai mm. in a couple hours and then there was like... Yeah. That's but we it. wasn't meant to go to Hyderabad according no. to Ankar Singh, mm. innit? Where was you meant to go? Where? We were meant to go Goa, <laughs> innit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a shame. So, so literally we're, we're, we're thinking like, you know, should we go to Patna Sahib and then Patna Sahib is on the, literally the other side of India now. Yeah. He's already flown south mm. now, go fly mm. back past Punjab, no. back up, right? Mm. And it was like... You know, does that make sense? And then it's like, oh, let's go back to Punjab. That sounds yeah. like the most viable option, right? No, no, no. That the wasn't bar, the No, me and me and, me and Bart were pretty set on that. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you were very set on that. You and, were, then, like, we're home, innit? And that's like Sikhi, Guru Ram Dash, she's home. Guru Ram Dash, she's longer, right? Oh, I agree, I agree. But, <laughs> but on, on cars, like, 
let's go Goa. <laughs> he goes, it's a one hour flight. It was a, and the flight, and the flight was, was in like an hour yeah. and a half, two hours. And I, I think everyone did agree with me except for Sukhdeep Singh. No, 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 but no. He was Bobbin did it. But no, I, 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 it, was, it sounded good, didn't I it? I wasn't there though, when you oh. said this. I, you were on the phone about Hyderabad, but he was so about Hyderabad. I was speaking to the airline. I was like, that's a shout. The option sounded good, yeah. And then I came back and I was like, oh, what's the plan guys? And they're like, we're going Goa. No, I was like, what? He was like, I said to him, look, I'm not going anywhere. There's not a Goa side, isn't it? He goes, oh, but the, uh, there's free, there's free there. So he didn't even search at this point. He goes, don't worry, there's bad good daughter. And then he goes, and then he's googling good daughter in Goa. So he, look, there's one here. City Guru sings about Goa. So that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's what and then he goes, and then we can sit on the rocks and say, why good? <laughs> so he's proper selling yeah. it. Do you know why? Because we, we've been to Goa with, on our school trip. Yeah. Hmm. And it was amazing, wasn't it? It was really nice. It was nice. proper nice yeah. place. So he nearly sold it yeah, to us. Nearly he still sold seems it. a bit regretful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then Karabhi Singh came back and yeah. said, it's about the flights in a few hours. Yeah, that and it's a five hour taxi yeah, from Do you know originally we were trying to check flights to Aurangabad because we, we did that once when we went before, isn't it? Mm. Aurangabad, but there was nothing there, but we didn't think of Hyderabad, did we? Yeah, no, yeah. we didn't think. But luckily, that. Mandeep Singh. Uh, and that's what happened. That us, yeah. We got a flight from then, that was at eight, it was at eight o'clock that yeah. day. It was like an hour and a half later, right? Or yeah. an hour later. Mm -hmm. Literally got through the gates then, same gate it was at. We thought we had to go back to the first terminal, thank mm. God we didn't have to. Mm. And then got the flight to Hyderabad. Yeah. Very nice airport, mm. very nice security. Mm. There are donuts and, there. Krispy <laughs> Kremes, I was just going to say donuts. that. Mm. That was probably the best airport I've ever been to. Yeah, 100%. Mm. So, like, you usually, usually get like security is a bit rude to you and stuff, innit? Mm. But you, it was very nice. And then we got a taxi from there um, to um, Hazur, from to Nadir, to Hazur side, right? Yeah. Mm. And without taxi, it's about five and a half hours, six hours, but we actually got there in like four hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, because uh, of that, that road, do you remember? So they, they made an, the uh, new road, yeah. Mm. And the Hazuri Singhs basically told us. Tell the driver that mm. you take this new road. And Nizambad. And, yeah. And that whole journey at the start, the first hour or two, just got me saying, and the driver going back and forth. So we, 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 we were trying to argue way. with the driver. And obviously he's like, these guys don't know, they just come yeah, from yeah, England. Yeah. And we were like, no, no, we've been told by the things at Hazul side, we need to go with this route. The funny uh, thing yeah. was, yeah, he goes, look, uh, you're paying, so whatever you're say is cool. And we say, look, please take this route then, because we've been told. And he goes, Tika. Then every 10 minutes, he'd call one of his friends, buddy, <laughs> or whatever his bully was. He'd say, these are telling me to take... Obviously, we don't know what he's saying, but when he's saying Nizambad, the, the road, yeah. the route we're saying, you know he's talking they're saying, us. oh, Nizambad, but I'm saying... The, what was the other Do you remember the other one? But anyway, he yeah. was saying, oh, these don't keep telling me that. And he goes, yeah, that's what I'm mm. saying. But then like, luckily... Like Luckily we went him. that way and it was yeah. all right. It was but I was, I was uh, at the airport, I was telling my dad we're going to do this route. And I think when he's been like many years ago, mm. he said that it's a really terrible route. Mm -hmm. uh, as in that the roads are really bad. But yeah. our experience was different, I think. It was amazing. The road was perfect. Proper, yeah, perfect. Yeah. perfect. No bumpy made it, roads, yeah. All mm. tarmac the whole way. Mm. And and then we made it to Hazur side mm -hmm. finally. And this is kind of like within the podcast where I guess the actual Yatra... The, the part of sing Yatara starts, right? Yeah. Uh, so we had this whole like introduction kind of thing, but this is where the like journey... We, you know, that actually, was yeah. part of it though, man. Yeah. Like that struggle in the yeah. airport. We didn't document there. much of that first bit. No. I got a no, few, few things here and there. We were so stressed. No, we, were yeah, we were just in the moment. Mm. Imagine just... we did document it. We drew the star, remember? It was like oh, falling off your head. <laughs> Uh, but somehow it stayed on your head the whole time. Like it was literally, you could see his whole forehead, but it just wouldn't fall. And I felt like pushing it because I wanted to see, because it just looked like it was going to fall. Yeah. But it didn't. Oh, I was just, I was knack. I think especially because we've been traveling for three yeah, days now. Wow, three days. Me and Norman. Yeah. And uh, we were but just then knackered. When, when we got to Azul Saab, how did it feel? You know, initially, yeah, mm. I was just really tired. I'm mm. not going to lie. And I got there and... Um, I was just tired. I didn't really feel anything. Mm. I don't know if it was different for you. It was different for me. As soon yeah. as I got there, I was like, oh, this is mad. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you're like one of those guys that are a bit like, you know, you don't really have these kind of nah. special things in you. No, no, no. I'm a very, bit like me, like, just like a patter, isn't it? Very, yeah, just like, like, like mellow. Like, yeah. yeah. It's hard for me to be like, how too high or too high or low. Mm. With most of them, like, yeah, that one's all right. But his all type was different. It was mm. different. Straight away, as soon as yeah. you get there. But yeah, I think, amazing. you know, after I had Ishnan and got ready, mm. and then... I opened the door and I looked out. We were we stayed in the Burkarma. Yeah. And then when I looked out and I just saw Hazul side there, like lit up. Mm. It was it was literally the most amazing thing. Because of the lights. I've been I, <laughs> lights yeah, as well. Yeah. But I, I've been Hazul side before with mm. school, but briefly, and I think this time it was completely different. Mm. Uh, the experience, the feeling, mm. everything. So we were lucky because we actually stayed in the Burkarma. Yeah, so yeah, you have yeah. the actual such kind, uh, the Astan in the middle. And then we're sleeping in the rooms around it, in the circle, yeah. you could say. 
Um, so that was really amazing. As soon as you walk out of your room, you can hear the key. Then you can hear in your room as well, but you're looking directly. Imagine mm. staying mm. in the Haramandara side in one of the rooms around the Parkarma, mm. and when you look out, you see Haramandara side. That's what we had for Hazur yeah, side, yeah. right? Mm. So we got there at four a.m. in the morning, three thirty in the morning. We got ready, did Ishnan about ready by four four thirty ish. So then we left our rooms and then you got such kind of fun to your Mata Park or Jesus Tan next door. Mm. And uh, in terms of all that history, um, that's where the vlogs are for, right? Because we vlogged every single God that mm-hmm. uh, we went to in Hazur Sahib and, and our experiences and the kind of cool stuff we did there. Uh, and we could talk about the next few days as well. And they went to Langara Sahib for Simran. Mm. Right in the morning, right, and that was nice. So we were there till about six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think yeah. like we've always heard a lot about that. Mm. The Simran, uh, I've I you listen to it quite regularly on SoundCloud. There's a recording of the Simran. Yeah, but I've never actually been, and to actually go there, Anji. it was definitely a different experience. In so four to six in the morning mm. at Langarasai Godarasai, which is next to the river Godavari, uh, and um, they, they start by sitting. The, everyone's sitting down But they're facing each other So it's like you know About 100 people Sitting this way 100 that way And they're all saying Vai Guru Right And then after an hour They all stand up And they walk around In a circle uh, All the sings The Bibias they seated But the sings walk around In a circle And they do Satanam Vai Guru job For another hour uh, And then after that Where did we go Did we go to the river They we went to Godavari And they went back To our rooms Yeah I think we did check it out mm. Yeah they went back To have a sleep Because you lot Had slept in three days Yeah I mean it got to be Probably about a day or so Isn't it and it's quite funny because when we go back to the room, <laughs> you know what it is? Like, on no, you give a bit of context because with most like, if anyone's going to say, let's do something religious or let's, oh, should we sit and do, or should we do a similar program or should we do this? It's usually, this is He's the organizer, isn't he? He yeah, pushes yeah, this yeah, stuff, yeah, isn't like, it? Uh, or like randomly, oh, Arjun, should we do that as Kirtan today? Yeah, it was. <laughs> So then, yeah, <laughs> and and that's good context because you know we were sitting on our beds, right, and we're talking, right. We should be sleeping, but we're talking. And I go, you know what, guys? I go, let's just do five minutes. No, but of- we were we were also lying oh, down. Oh, oh, we oh, were oh, lying no. down. No, no, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> lying down. <laughs> you was a lying down. Okay, this is when you lie down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were sitting up. You were sitting up. I just, I think <laughs> I was lying down. I got up yeah. and I go, you know what, guys? Why don't we do five minutes of Vaigur Simran? And as on no word of a lie, so quickly on Singh lay down and goes, allow that man. What are you talking about? Hey guys, you're, it, too you're, 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 you're too, you're too much. Like, much. Like, you're too no, much. Do you know what and and you're, he's chilling, he's sitting up, just scrolling his Insta, yeah, <laughs> no, scrolling no, no, his, no. checking his story. <laughs> and then while she goes, no, do you know what it was? I think minutes. I was just so tired after three days of no sleep and like even when we got to no, when we got to Azul, I was always had this nine, and then mm. it was like it was, I was so I think I was just overwhelmed, and mm. I was just tired. Mm. But then I did I did still participate with him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's similar. I did. You did. You did. I did, I did. Fair enough. He's still trying to cover the back of the whole got, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can't, get, can't get cancelled after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm casting this in my program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, he still did it in his defense. He still did it yeah, yeah, yeah. after not sleeping for three days. Yeah. But saying that, I did enjoy it as well. Why good? It was nice. Why good? Because that was the first time that we actually sat together properly, isn't it? Because hmm. other times we were just in a rush Traveling or on flights. Or, or, oh, yeah. That was our first time actually all together. Hmm. Doing Simran. So that was really nice. Yeah. Was it on that first day when uh, that sing from Mumbai stopped you as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that, was, that was literally when we came out of Langar side. We went on towards... The, on the, the way back from On Langar the way side. back. And yeah. that was crazy. That was so, cool, man. Yeah. So like we said this in the vlogs that we were quite blessed because even when we was in India, wherever we went, me and Kadavi seen before you guys came, even, even when we were together, <laughs> we were getting were spotted by a lot of people that recognized us. Mm. Uh, obviously, it's not for a personal pump, but it was nice to see that the basics... The Parala, um, it? The Parala had, been, had reached so far. But mm. even the Boss TV... Mm. The yeah. server that we do now as well with the vlogs and stuff and the Gurmukh series and stuff. Um, you know, that stuff was being watched by the Sangat. So we got approached by a guy from Mumbai. And initially when I saw him come over, I thought oh, he's gonna ask me for money yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. you never know what people are gonna say to you, right? But he's like, Oh my gosh, I watched the videos and stuff. I was like, Whoa, that's crazy, right? He was just talking about the Santa the Singh podcast because of the Godavari yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah and stuff. So it, it was not it was I think it was nice to see that there was the server that we we've been blessed to do. That people are actually watching it, but that person's come to that place uh, that we spoke about in the podcast, and he's saying to us that this is that place you guys spoke <laughs> about. So it, I think it's it's quite it's quite fulfilling in it when you see that it, that the seva is is having effect on people. And then we rested for a few hours, 
And what did we do that day then? Did we just do a bit of shopping in the in the afternoon or something? We didn't. I don't think we did pop goes that day. Do we do shasta? Yeah, we did shasta. We went and had a look, right? We didn't mm. do much because we slept till about twelve. Then I think, innit? Mm. How did you guys find the yatra then at Hazur side when we went to all the different Goddara sides? Yeah, so it's really nice when we we hired a taxi mm. um, because they do tours as well, right? Mm. So there's like a tour bus that goes, but because we wanted to take our time and film. And at each place, we thought, let's hire a taxi and go. And it was really nice. We got to go to all the local astans in Nandir. Mm. And we saw like um, Hira Kaat Sahib. Um, what's the other ones? I'm not going to remember all the names. Mata the Sahib, Dema Gutara. Oh, he's on a roll. 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 He's on It's easy because it's not a roll. Mount Dekri. Mount Dekri. That's a good one. I kept saying something. I was Dekri. I kept saying. And I know it's Mount Dekri. So I kept messing that up. And that was really cool. And we were going to do all those places. What was your favorite? <laughs> on God's thing, I have all those places. Which one stuck out to you the most? I don't know if it's for a good reason or a bad reason. But oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna say. As outside of some of these gordare, the way that they've been made, okay. they've got these little characters everywhere. Uh, yeah. And then the one gordare, I think it was probably Shikar 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 there's like a little bunny. Just depicting the the sake, yeah, but it's it's in such a like a cartoon way, yeah, and uh, yeah, that that really stuck out. There's like me. a bow and arrow going yeah, into his yeah. chest, and he's smiling as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that stuck out for me. That was his favorite of his himself. What about you, Don? You think? Uh, you know, as a, as a funny thing, yeah, yeah. when Bavan told uh, people that. <laughs> Oh God has a dead or something like oh God is a, is a jate dar of a jata. Oh, that's so true. No, that's true and then that guy was doing, he was with his family doing the like local tour as well. Of and the he Guru kept God. following on God. He was following on God and he goes, Oh, my potter no vi me loa, my potter. And then he's like, Oh, why did you call us? And then and I, I, he was loving it. No, I wasn't. He was loving it. He was loving it. He was taking photos of him God as well. But then as the yatra, like we went to the next Guru Daya, started getting more, more fans. Yeah, he's got So you know things that we all look, we all look the same. Me, Karavi, Rome, Singh and yeah, his brother, yeah, yeah. we were dressed in like a barney and stuff in it. But Ankar Singh stood out because he's wearing like a white a kurta pajama. He's, he's, he's all white, shades, 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 sunglasses, and sunglasses, sunglasses. And he looked like a Maharaja, in it basically, mm. in it. And he's he's really gas. Like a fraud, yeah, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, everybody kept coming up to him. Like, yeah. And when no, but to it's because Abhavan did that. <laughs> yeah, said it to that guy, and he spread the word. Yeah, it shows that it's actually meant how how gentle or gullible people can be. Like this and all, and then I wasn't accepting it though. I was, you know. I saw you pocketed the bit of funny guy. <laughs> so no, that, yeah. that was that, I think another really funny story that was really cool about that place is when um, we went to Mata Saib Dev by Jesus Tan as well, which is beautiful. So recommend you guys go to Mata Jesus mm, Tan. We got to go into the port outside. That made it, the Simran and downstairs was amazing, wasn't it? That was in that room, and then we got to see like a beautiful picture of where Mata Ji used to serve langar to um, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji, where Mata Ji wouldn't um, eat nothing until she had served Guru Sahib Ji. So there go there be certain days where. She Mata Ji wouldn't eat nothing and that because she didn't see Guru Gobind Singh Ji and she still do seva. So like there were some very powerful moments uh when we we're there. And, and the thing is that with this vlog, sorry, with this podcast, you know, we're having a lot of uh laughs, but we're having so many laughs there, but we're also very very serious parts and, mm -hmm. and you know, very, you know, quite emotional and powerful, especially when we were there. Yeah. And there's another really beautiful thing about that as Tan is that if you do it with the bus, they'll say to you, you have to have Langar here as well. I'm Martha Jesus Tan in it. Um, <laughs> I think Mark Carson is where this is going. And uh, but we wasn't on a bus. We were on ourselves, right? So I said, "Oh, we should have longer here." And obviously, Mark Carson's getting a bit, you know, fidgety in it. He's like, "Do we really want to?" And I was like, "Where's Martha Jesus Butchin?" And as soon as I said, "There's like, okay, we got." So, <laughs> but Pastor Dave saying, uh, "Haven't you heard of Billu the Tabba?" <laughs> <laughs> but we did have longer there. That was a Butchin yeah, as well yeah, yeah. because. It was like they are mother, right? So mm. Martha, you were saying that you've come home now, mm. so have some food in it. Yeah, it's but actually like, nice at that time as well. That was our first time doing uh, the seva. seva of washing the, the washing the pande with uh, sand, and we actually we did vlog that as well, didn't we? Was it, that yeah. was not pinta. Oh, was, was that, that not no, 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 but that was really nice to actually watch in mm. the pond as well. Yeah. And we actually made, we took, we recorded that how you do oh, that yeah, as we well. Did, we did. Because in the UK, it's, it's not, it's not that thorough in that respect, isn't it? What you see most Guru Gars is that one sink or two. There, there was like four or five massive mm -hmm. sinks, right? 
we were watching the party and stuff. Um, so we did a lot of those as and then we also did the ones right next to Hazur Saib as well, right? And then um, you know what's interesting is that you have a lot of beggars. Oh, you know, on that actually, it was on it was on that day, the first day we were walking from uh, Hazur Saib to um, mm. get to see, we were walking to Langar Saib, and that was mm. one of the things when you know, when we know we were just at the Gadavri, we were talking a little bit afterwards, and I was like, it's mad in India. You obviously we're quite isolated here. Going back to India because it'd been a long time for me. It, it does hit you the greedy that's still there, isn't it? Like, it's sad, it is sad to see. It is sad to see, especially in his room. Oh, that, especially that walk, that yeah. long walk. It is. It is. It is. In the mornings when they're all sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of greedy, a lot of poverty, uh, and they'll be sitting outside a lot of the gold dollars because they know that people come on tours, mm. so they're going to be waiting for you. But you know, it's all right because like some of them, like I'm always uncomfortable giving money to anyone. But if it's like you're buying something or you're giving them something. Food and stuff that's different, so they'll sell bananas mm. and these kind of things, right? And then you'll buy them and then it kind of, mm. you take inside and, uh, you know, they'll be like, in it. You're too much. <laughs> nah, we got to tell no, the story. We've got to tell, tell the story. We've got to tell the story. We got to tell the story. Oh, because wow. this shows how, like, the Alu, um, how much compassion on God Singh has in it. Like maybe got, uh, I don't know. he's got too much love. You know, because you know, even though like we, when we were doing the walk, yeah, and I was like, because when we were doing that, especially that long walk, I was like, oh, it's a bit of a like, you think grieb the more goluk, yeah, but it's yeah. also like there's a lot of goluks there, then, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But then, but obviously, and then it's you know, it's a sticky. Do you know, what I think you learn with experience. Like sometimes that you you really feel like you want to give, mm. but then in some situations you give, and then you'll get like kind of like you know attacked. Yeah, that's the thing. Like if you give, then they are all gonna, they all gonna come. Then I right? think definitely Amrish is how you get that a lot. Yeah, Hazusa yeah, yeah. is a bit more that's calm. In India you do, man. Yeah, 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 but especially I think Hazusa yeah. is a bit more calmer. That like they're mm. not as like in India in Amrish society, like Punjab, when you have a beggar, they will harass you and mm. they will follow you. Yeah. But in Hazusa, yeah. they, they don't do that. Do you know that. one day yeah. I went to Domino's with a, a sing from Birmingham, Saudi sing. Yeah, and uh, we went to Domino's. And the beggars were following us, and then uh, they were standing literally outside the door waiting for us to eat. And then while we we're eating, they were coming in and like begging for pizza. Wow. And then I just gave them like a few mm-hmm. slices. Mm-hmm. But then because I gave them, like more kids started coming and be like, "Oh, I want it as well now." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, it just makes you think that what are the governments of those places doing mm-hmm. that? There's so much poverty still there, mm-hmm. and uh, obviously, you know, like that you're in what is it? Your area of influence, area of concern. Like that's obviously our area of concern, but we obviously don't have no influence there, right? Mm-hmm. But could there be something that the governments there could do better so there is less poverty? Or, but I guess we did talk about this in our vlogs mm-hmm. as well, innit? So mm-hmm. we can like, uh, the, that Vichal was done in the podcast, I mean in the vlog, so we can leave it there. But that's something that we do talk about yeah, yeah, in yeah. the vlogs because we didn't we didn't shy away from certain topics, innit? Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. did see a lot of these things, innit? We did mm-hmm. talk about them and give our Vichal and, you know, are, are they really begging? Because there's a big... Issue in India of what do you call it when they actually send people out to beg, um, like in the Slumdog Millionaire movie, right? Like mm. how it's like a business, yeah. or like mm. the kind of um, the, the, like exploitation, exploitation in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Of taking people's like um, mm. organs and stuff like that, and deliberately making them lose limbs so they can do that stuff. So you know there was definitely that kind of side as well to it. Um, Just uh, on another note, well, I really I was thinking about when, before what the highlights of. Uh, for Nandir and Hazur Sahib especially one of the things I really loved is when we went every Gurdwara Sahib mm. there was Prakash of Sri Dasam Granth as well as Guru Granth Sahib Ji mm. and even sometimes uh, Sri Sarbo Granth as well Yeah, and like you felt that Shakti there like you felt that all the Singhs were like they had that love as well mm-hmm. so it was really nice to see that Actually, yeah yeah on highlights I didn't know the Reras at uh, Hazur Sahib is like that mm. so like the first uh, evening so we what, there just to explain I'm probably going to butcher it, but the, so during the Reras, uh, is it four or five times it used Wahi Guru Ji Ka Ka? So Ka, when the you know, Reras I was made, it's made up of different Shabads, right? For our Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Mm. Uh, and during certain Shabads that like, you have like the Sodar, then Asa Mahalla, Pahala twice, uh, Raghujdi Mahalla, Chautha, then Panjiva, then So Purka. So between some of those Shabads, the, the, the Guru Sikh is reading the prayers. He's a Reherasiya Singh and his lineage goes back to a time with the ninth Guru. Oh. So his father's his father, then their father, going all the way back up to Guru Teg Bahadur's time, used to read it right outside to the Guru. So then that Guru Sikh who got to read it for Guru Gobind Singh Ji would do it in Hazur Sahib, right? At that time. And uh, whenever the Guru Sikhs would come inside during the time of Rehra Sahib, because some got late, for example, right? Because they had their own seva that they're doing, they'd come inside and say Fateh to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, but they kind of put the Sangat off. Because, you know, like they're trying to focus and they were saying Fateh. So Guru Sajji made this um, this nism then, you could say, like this um, 
this rule in that respect that, you know, whenever a certain parts in the Rera side, we're going to pause the Rera side and everyone's going to say Fateh. So you'd hear that. They'd be like, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Then you hear a massive Jakarta mm. go off at that time. And that happened quite a few times at Rera side. Very unique. Yeah. And it was amazing. And then the Ghana yeah. that was being paid as well, right? Yeah. And I tried I tried to explain that to one of my friends when I got back. I said, oh, what were the highlights and stuff? And then I played it on the YouTube live. Mm. But it's not the same. Like no. On the YouTube, on the recording, it, mm. you, you, it's not the same at all. Mm. Like when you're there and like the whole sun gets blowing for the mm. and stuff with the Jagada, like it's just And the, it's and the drum, the war drum in it, the Nagara, mm. the bass in there. Too I, lo- I like bass in it. Yeah, right? it's, it sounds amazing. Mm. One thing me and uh, Omkar Singh were saying is really interactive. Mm. Yeah, so like yeah, all yeah. the sangat gets involved. Yeah. yeah. Another big part of that was a Shastar Darshan as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So after the Eda Saib and Aarti, uh, then they have a Shastar Darshan, right? Where they show you, um, they show you Guru Gobind Singh Ji's deed, the arrow, which is huge. So like the, the arrow head is bigger than my head. Right? It's huge. Mm. They show you um, Maharaja Ranjit Singh Ji's Kirpana, the two swords. Was it Akali Fula Singh Ji's Tega? Was it Tega, ne? Talwar, I think. It was a talwar. It was a, it was a sword of theirs, basically. Mm. And then they show you Guru Gobind Singh Ji's kard. So it's the it was a lot. It was the only weapon that was found in the Guru Gobind Singh Ji's, uh, you could say, the funeral pyre, that the ash that was left over. But it was just of the the wood ash and of this one little sword which they kept, little dagger you could say that was with them. Mm. Uh, so that was really nice to have that darshan. And what's cool about Hazur Sahib is that you can actually sit inside. Mm. You know when you go to the Rabar side, Harmandir side, it's very hard mm. to yeah, get like, a seat in it. I think I experienced my experience this time at Harmandir side. Mm. In the daytime, you could not get in. Mm. The queues were like four hours plus, weren't they? Mm. But Hazul side was amazing that every single day, Anytime. we were blessed that every Rara side, mm. we got a seat right at the front. Mm-hmm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I feel really blessed that we were able to do that every single day. And that's, inside that side. and that's where Guru Gobind Singh Ji left their body, oh, that okay. one place, right? Mm. And they say inside that, mid, that middle part, that's the Satch Khan. That's where they actually say that Guru Gobind Singh Ji sits mm. today in their physical form. We, right? we definitely need to do a podcast on just Hazur just on Hazur Sahib. People have been requesting this since the first since one, right? Yeah, it needs to be done. Definitely. So. Um, but and also another nice thing is we got to meet Baba Ji every day as well. 100%. Uh, so like after the divan and everything in the evenings, if you go to Baba Ji's room, and wait, there's actually so much sangat there as well. Mm. I didn't realize it was on the was... first day. Do you know when we were sitting outside singing shabbos? Mm. That for me no, really, nice. really yeah, stuck no, out. Nice. Mm. That really stuck out. Like the the love that all the sangat have to see mm. Babaji. Hanji. And uh, it was just it was a really amazing feeling, like seeing them sitting in their room, just mm. a little, little bit on the side. You know, Hanji. Like, there's no grandeur there or anything like that. Sitting on the floor. Yeah, they're sitting on the floor like. And it's what, really beautiful Just speak. for those who don't know When we say Baba Ji So the name is Baba Kulwan Singh Ji <clears throat> The head Pujari Or as other people say The Jathidar Of uh, Takht Sidi Hazur Sahib mm. um, So they have the Seva They basically have the main Seva there mm. Of looking after Guru Sahib Ji Sajkhand on, Only they're allowed In that sm- small room That you see on And Baba Ram Singh Ji At the moment right Baba Ram, But mainly Baba mm. Kulwan Singh Ji Has got the mm. Seva So this Seva Has been again Passed down from Guru Gobind Singh Ji's time Mm. Right, so next person after next person, Baba Kulwan Singh Ji has that seva now of being the only one that technically goes into that little small room, the such kind, and they do all the Guru Sabji seva on their own shasta every day. Every clean day. Shasta, it was actually day. quite amazing for us to see that literally every time we went to Dark Side, they were there like literally all the time. Mm. They and barely think, sleep. Yeah, they, it was, it was re- like we were so tired after. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The weather as well, well is, uh, and you, even in the daytime we see them walking up and down. Mm. And so like, when do they sleep, right? Yeah. And meeting them was uh, yeah. was very amazing, yeah. right? Mm. One amazing moment when me and Rohan met them was when they were doing their walk. Yeah, do they, do, they do an evening walk every. Yeah, we evening. were just sitting, we were just walking uh, in the Burgarma and uh, we were like, oh, but look, Baba Ji's there walking. Mm. Uh, it was it was just really amazing to see them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. You know, one thing we were saying. I think you know, on the last evening. I think it was the last evening before we left when we spoke to them mm-hmm. and like, we were like, they're so busy, yeah. And they gave us, it felt like they gave us kulla time. And in, in like nominal terms, it's probably five minutes, but mm. five minutes for them yeah. is probably, is a lot of time. And they, yeah. they just showed a lot of love and it was, it was really nice. Like, it was really nice. Like they didn't, they didn't need to, innit? Mm-hmm. So it was nice. So then from uh, that night we left uh, Sir Huzur Sahib and we drove back to 
um, Hyderabad Airport, yeah. mm. and then uh, that was all right. That journey back, right? Wicked, yeah, that's yeah. It. the driver was really close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to Nanak Chira first, didn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nanak Chira, quick. Just where Guru Nanak you went, mm. and again that's in the vlog. So we stayed there. We got there for Prakash. Mm. In the morning, so we got there for yeah. about three o'clock in the morning, three thirty. We got there for Prakash of Guru Granth Sahib Ji and Dasam Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That was amazing. And then we left from there, went to the airport, right? Yeah. So then after that, we went back to Amritsar Sahib. Mm. We stayed there for a couple of days, right? Yeah, it was yeah, a couple of days. It was yeah. a couple of nights. A couple of nights. And that's where we got to do Ishnan Seva, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inside when they wash Sri Harmandir Sahib Ji, inside out, everything. Anji. Mm. So you have to get there quite early yeah. on the Twitter, like 12.30 basically. Yeah. At night. And then um, you have to wear like set a bana, You're not allowed to wear pajama. You have to wear your Gatara Karpan on top and you have to have a Dari as well. Mm. So it's, it's a, from Paratan times, that was the Mariyada. It has to be mm. a certain, um, only men things are allowed to do it as well. Yeah. Mm. But then the like younger youth or like Bibbiya, they sit outside and they do Sri Sukhmani Sahib job, which is really nice. Like um like your brother Pavanveer, he really enjoyed that. And like when, even when I heard it, I was like, that sounds really cool. <laughs> mm. And we talk about this a bit more in detail in the Baba Sham Singh Ji podcast as well, isn't it? Mm. Um, about the types of seva, sevava that people can do mm. at um, Haramandar Sahib, even mm. the Bibbiya and the, and the young Singhs as well that can do. And uh, what's it like then doing seva Haramandar Sahib? Because this is like, in one respect, the biggest Astan yeah. for mm. Sikhs, right? And we were so, we so, you know, I was thinking like, we're so lucky that we actually mm. got to do seva yeah. in that astan. So yeah. what, what does it, Shanam? So like me and Gunri have done the seva before. Mm. Uh, did you, have you guys, it? it was your time. first time, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. What, how did you feel that it was your first time doing the seva? I think it's very overwhelming. Yeah. It's quite mm. scary because they're on it. Mm. So well, explain what it is then. Cause uh, you're not meant to explain because you're doing <laughs> it's like, so what? No, you're, you know, you're saying that uh, it's our, we've done it before. It was mm. quite funny though because... Everyone really was thinking, okay, I can just, he can just no, swallow explain me. Explain the first one. <laughs> explain, like, what, what do they do? They could clear out the yeah. bar sub. How yeah, so, do they wash so, it? So, so they like, clear no. all, when you go into the bar sub now, you see on YouTube, there's like all the pashais done, right? And they're like, they're, all these rails are there and stuff. But then what they do at night time is they take all, they pick all of the up. It's all empty, isn't it? It's all yeah. empty. Yeah. They pick the rails up as well. And then in the morning in Amrit Villa, for Ishnan Seva, what they do is they get uh, buckets of milk and water mm. and they do wash the whole of uh, Darbar Sahib from the inside. Mm. So like one at a time, you're getting buckets from the Sarov yeah. and you're passing it on. So there's, like, there's like two lines, isn't there? Yeah. One to collect the uh, bucket. Yeah. And then there's one to drop the I like I like how you're asking him, but you're the one. <laughs> you know, this is the mad so this is the mad thing. I thought, yeah, yeah Marat Kirpa, wicked. Like this I oh, thought the same. It was I'm high with pressure. You. I thought I can just follow on Kar Singh. He stayed here for four, six months. <laughs> He's talked about how amazing the Shanan Seva is. I thought I've got a veteran like with me. <laughs> it? Like, I've got a veteran with me, yeah. So I'm following on Kar Singh and then I'm getting dragged behind like the person behind me is dragging me, like saying, No, no, hey, put thing, you've got to go there, yeah. I'm like, not talking, you're just like dragging me, yeah. Hannah. Mm. But I'm thinking, wait, I'm following this guy and he's getting dragged as well because so nah, like, sometimes when the lines cross the system doesn't make sense when the yeah. lines but cross you know, it, this, was the, this mm. is the mad thing we did we about afterwards I think we spoke about it in the podcast as well so we're newbies yeah and we didn't we didn't really clock the system even when I thought I clocked the system I was still yeah. moving around mean, they changed the so it showed changed. that the people mm. that system runs like clockwork mm. so those people the yeah. ma the majority of, majority of those server dollars they must be doing it every and day and you know what's amazing years. the silence yeah, mm. that no one's talking. So look how much Sharda yeah. we play those good six have in it. Yeah. We come in on like we come in on Yatra, we do it once or twice, we give ourselves a pat on the back. These like mm. these are like the OGs who are mm. doing it like yeah. regularly. It's part of their their name. But one thing I would say is like maybe in previous like back in the day, it wouldn't have been as that many people. It wouldn't have been so no. like mm. now when you go there, yeah. the line goes back to like like even even when you wrote your name, like I think we were like number two hundred and something. Is it? That's we? crazy. You know what's mad that I was thinking when we got there, like me and you got there, the floor was like soaking wet huh? Mm. like the floor was proper wet yeah? yeah but then within like 20 minutes it was like for like the, the system so they, we didn't they the system, wash all of the floors with like the water yeah. and the milk and then they have a seva that get towel yeah, like yeah, towels yeah. and they dry yeah, it yeah. and they do that, like yeah. a really cool system they have wave it have you seen that yeah, yeah they wave yeah. it and then they ch chuck it out yeah. the doors and then uh you have the rent, rent is it yeah, we, ringing? We, we were doing that. Yeah, ring, the ringing the outside, and then you throw it back in, and yeah. it's, it it's quite, it's quite it was, fun. It yeah. was sick. It was it's sick. like it's, they proper get their like 
not hands dirty, but like uh, they get in there. Yeah. Yeah. The hands on Tevabo is wicked as well. So then, yeah, so then the Sevadar behind me who kept like dragging me there. Luckily, he was really piano because like, like, when he'd look at me, look at me, he was just like smiling, mm. like, oh, here's a new BL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was like, buddy, like, does he made it a girl? Like, you come in front of me, yeah, I'll just follow yeah, you because yeah. obviously, you yeah. know, following the wrong guy. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> and then I was all right. But yeah. it's, it's just when you give, you give the bucket, yeah, yeah, and they give you a full bucket, and mm. then they. But sometimes, but sometimes they don't give you back the yeah, bucket. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, where's my bucket? <laughs> or, like, or one guy, he's putting it behind him and passing it to me. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm going to find the bucket. <laughs> well, it was oh, sick, it was a so blessing. Yeah, yeah. And, and then sitting inside yeah, of the shop. I was going to say that the Simran and mm. the job. Yeah. Electric, isn't it? No, mm. very nice. And then really they sing, they sing the like binti shabad. Yeah. Right? That was amazing. Mm. You know, also we're talking about the prem and like the shard of these gursiks doing the seva. Like, remember talking about those things who were doing bashai mm. and like they were doing it for a long time because they wanted it perfect. Didn't mm. it? Mm. Yeah. You know they I mean? they have like a ruler or some kind of measurement stick, yeah. and they're like precise down to the yeah, millimeter. Precise, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everything like, they like really take their time and do it. And it was actually quite beautiful. In the day later on, we got to actually meet the boy who does who does the seva. Mm. By is it by Savinder Singhji? I don't remember his name. And we got to meet them during the day as well. And okay. have their darshan, which is quite nice as well. That's amazing. To so, see them. So we did that in the morning. There's there's way more to that as well. But we mm, talk yeah. about it in we the vlogs. We did talk about it in the vlogs, right? Yeah. And then we did the Panja um, Sarovar Yatra yeah. as well. Mm, we went to the mm. five different pools mm. in Amr Sar Sahib. First, they went to Skol Sar Sahib. They went to Amr Sar Sahib. They went to um, Babik Sar Sahib, Ram Sar Sahib. And at Ram Sar Sahib, there was Baba Deep Singh Jastan. And also where Guru Gan Sahib is written, that's what Ram Sahib was famous for. And my Sukhuni Sahib was also recited by Guru Arjun there. Just five minutes and talk Sahib. Mm. And we 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 did a shnan, we bathed in the river in the in the pool, and we did Japji Sahib the part as well. Mm. And so we vlogged all that as well, which is an amazing experience in mm. itself. Um, quite, there's some funny moments as well because the yeah. are freezing. Yeah, some of them. So and some few, of them were quite slippery as yeah, well. Yeah, few things shivering. <laughs> Who, who, who did yeah, he slip? Seven, seven. Got I nearly slipped. I nearly slipped. In a Santokhsar side. The last one. Yeah, yeah. Santokhsar side. Yeah. <laughs> Later on in the Yatra, he actually slipped in a Srovar. When I went well. back to Nanaki. Yeah. Is it? In Rakhbe, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you probably dried though. Slippery. Yeah, that was chilling. You dry, you dry really quickly in yeah, that type yeah, of weather, yeah. innit? You could just <laughs> sit on the side. With a so the Srovar was really cool and cold, but then outside it was like really warm. The sun was out. Yeah. So, But it was nice though. That was wicked. Definitely worth it. Mm. Uh, and then that evening we went to the case of the Tabbaine. That's mm. the day we did the Tabbaine, and we was let down a bit. Yeah. But I'm um, sing But the dessert shop was nice, though, innit? Yeah. yeah exactly. that, that was one of the, actually the hardest of the trip for me, actually. The Pansarubu You know, talking oh, about I, I thought, thought you were going to say the desserts. <laughs> 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 nah. And so I was the desserts. I would have agreed with you. Desserts. And you know what? I would have agreed with you. Yeah, I would have agreed with you. Because that was, especially, that's that's when one of the moments I was thinking it was nice doing it as a group because, you know, you know, doing the job yourself together and that in Sangat Rup and that. That was, yeah, that was. That was sick. And I think sick. more than just being a group, like outside of that, we're also very good friends as well, all mm. of us. And to do it with your friends who are also your Sangad and your mm. brothers, it was yeah, it was just a really, really nice experience. It's so sweet, isn't it? Oh, God, it's everything's it. a movie. Uh, <laughs> you got no, too much. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> no, no, it is true, though, isn't it? No, no, yeah, no, it's it's to do with friends. <laughs> so uh, after Amrit Sir Sahib, then what, what did we do? We split off a little bit, innit? No, no, no. We went together mm -hmm. to your pin. We, we went from Amritsar to um, South oh, and split, to Moga. Yeah. yeah, then we split. And then from there we split because your pin is quite near to mine. Yeah, about 25, half hour. Half yeah, an hour yeah. away. So That's why Ron Vilsing had his family responsibilities, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go yeah. see them, which Ongar Singh never understood. <laughs> no, but you know what? At the end of the trip, I stayed with Rohan for... Yeah, so three days. Mm. Was it three days? Yeah, bro. Yeah, for, the for the whole account of For the whole account yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. That was like my first experience in like Bindi, you could see. Because mm. I don't, we've got a Bindi there. Yeah. But we have no one living there, so I've never really been. Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <Sean. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So our Bindi, it's actually quite close, isn't it? Yeah, not all. Not all, yeah. But I stayed in Rowan's Bindi for three days. and oh, that's Loved nice. it there as well. But what, what, what did we start with? So us three, we went yeah, to yeah. So, Arun Singh's band. Yeah. That's where your family do yeah. the seva of uh, Baba Thakur the, Singh Ji's. Mm, yeah, they, the seva they used to do, innit? They started like in a, a city of Kantpart side. So, like they do smagam every year there. Mm. So we we went there for like the ending of that. Yeah. And then uh, the following day we went on a yatra to... Dumb the massive. No, no, no. We went pinned off together. That, that no, no, we went dumb the massive. We went dumb the massive first. Oh, the, oh yeah, I missed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today yeah. you had to stay with your family. And then we went to Likhan Sar Saib, which was yeah. quite amazing. We got to write in the sand. Right in the, yeah. We documented all this. Yeah, we, that's all in the vlogs. And, and we uh, went to that um, other town. Was it by Dalla Jesus? Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> actually, yeah. We got to see. Um, 
like this a very small Gurgaon Sahib Ji, like yeah, very amazing, tiny yeah. Gurgaon Singh Ji Shastri. That was that amazing. Was amazing. That was a Do you know when the, the Bibi like pulled, uh, out, uh, pulled the Shastri out? Uh, on Kar Singh fell on the floor. Nah, I, was, was, uh, I, was, so I, was, I was amazed. He's like, why you in this month? It was an yeah. amazing moment that was. And then like, Ma, like Ma, Mata Ji's um, like their, their trousers and stuff. Guru Gobind Singh Ji's the star, yeah, the yeah. turban. Guru Sahib Chola as well that they Chola they Sahib, and yeah. there was I think they had they had like Guru Sahib's blood on there. It's from the battle of Chamkor Sahib. Wow. That I think it's Muksar Sahib. Muksar, Muksar Sahib. Yeah, Muksar Sahib. Yeah. Actually, yeah. My Pagodi's um mm. close from then as well. So mm. a lot yeah, of cool. There's, and there's quite a lot of Sant other Singh Ji uh, history in the Nawa Sahib as well. Yeah. Got to mm. see a few of the the Allah that there. they made. Yeah, right? they used to teach mm. there, right? Very and we met that. somebody there as well, mm. right? Mm. Who had met. Like um, Sant Gyan Guru Bachchan Singh Ji, Sant Kartar Singh Ji, yeah. uh, Sant Janel Singh Ji, all these Mahapurush and he had darshan of them. Yeah. He's telling us, mm. you know, what it was like seeing them and giving us some teaching. So you randomly meet all these yeah, amazing This is like people. a running theme, I think, throughout the vlogs of mm. how we just met random Gursikhs everywhere we went mm. with amazing, amazing stories. I think that's the difference in India. Mm. Just tell that story, actually. That story was mad. You know, when you went to uh, the Gatra store in your, in your bend <laughs> to get Gatra. Oh, yeah. The, uh, that really puts it into perspective, man. Uh, so we, I was just doing a bit of shopping with Nana Naniji, right, helping them out. And then we went to like a uh, Gatra shop. He doesn't obviously do Gatra only. He does like all Sikh items Gatras and stuff. Gatras and these things, right? That we yeah, he's like a tailor. Prepare. and But he's yeah. quite an old tailor. Mm. And he said that from his father's time and his grandfather's time, they've been doing the, this uh, tailoring at this area. And he said that he he remembers when he's young, um, during the time of Sant Janel Singh Ji, when the whole Murta was happening and stuff, Every week they would be getting buying like a bag full of gatre and being for an amrit sanchar. Wow! And like he was like the those times have gone now literally because mm. you don't that doesn't happen anymore in it. Mm -hmm. But it's like that's how many people were like taking amrit at that time. Oh, I agree. They would take a bag full of gatre and they would literally just be gone. I think that's what's amazing about India. Even the point I was gonna make mm. was like um you don't I'm not saying you don't get this here, but in India when you go on those kind of journeys. It's like Guru Sahib just chucks all this stuff in front of you, mm -hmm. and you experience so much uh, that you 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 probably experience here over years. We experience it in a week or two, mm -hmm. right? That's one thing as well. I was gonna say, like, even though you know, one of the things I love about when I was at Nanaka and stuff and being in Bind, you hear accounts from people like just other because obviously maybe they didn't talk to about it to us before because mm -hmm. like me myself I wasn't in Sikhi. Then now going as a Gursik there, they talk about their experience in Sikhi and like oh yeah Santa Janel thing I see and like it's just mm. not, that, not that like casual oh yeah Santa Gawandia Santa Ji stayed with them mm. like you get these things that you wouldn't normally get in it mm. like you get these small gems or like these small ideas like things that these accounts of people mm. who usually and they're probably like dying to tell people their yeah. stories isn't it and I think that's how like Stories before were told, and huh? I like mm. that when basics of Sikhi or like these other like channels didn't exist or whatever. That's how people got their information and the, mm. their knowledge of Sikhi was passed through like that, and huh? I just mm. talking to people. So just talking to the locals and stuff, and talking to like you could say random people. It was so nice, man. Like mm. so that's why that's one of the things I love about being in India and then being in Punjab. Like mm. even like my mum, me honey, like my mum's brothers and stuff. They've got their accounts in it. Mm. Like, they were looking at it was actually quite much. They were looking at me. And above, and they were like, oh, Appa, we been now, you know, because they went sick before, they were like, Appa, 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 we used to wear this stuff, and like, they got a bit emotional, and they were like, on Kharko sing about it again, as a joke. And um, they were talking about how, like, they used to get dragged, <laughs> they used to get dragged out of the house and beaten. It's just mad, isn't it? That these lot, and then I, he was like, got emotional, I was saying, yo, like, we're only able to do this now because of the savor that, like, sort of you lot done, mm. that you lot went through, it? Like, just going back to these. But these the things, man. You realize when you go to India and you actually talk to people and you talk to locals who mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't be usually be able to spread this information. It's no, crazy, no, no. man. There's still so much there. There's a lot of 100%. love there. You just probably, I think, I think if you go there yourself to the villages, you'll see that people say that Sikhi is kind of dead. Mm. I can understand that from one side, but there's a lot of blame. Mm, there's so much love yeah. there, and like we'll talk yeah. about it, um, further on in when we're going to uh, Hula Mahalla mm. and Anpur side. When, when when you see this, the Sharda Sangat had. Even going there, it was next level. Mm. So uh, after Siri Dhamdama Sahib Yatra, we went to... Is that the day after? No. Next day the, we went the day to after Pindra. Pindra. Mm, that was amazing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Was the awesome. energy there. Mm. Just Then we went to next, Nanak Sahib, yeah. Jagarao. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then we went to uh, Taki Sahib. Tom Carson left us there. Yeah, you should have yeah. come to Takisa, bro. Yeah, yeah. Takisa was, mm. was wicked. Very nice. Yeah. It's like a proper. That was my highlight of 
Punjab probably. It's like deep in a forest too, isn't it? Mm. And it's like, it's very eco-friendly as all well. is very eco-friendly. So everything's yeah. made out of like the resources there, renewable mm. stuff. Like there's all wooden paths and stuff. And the Darbar was outside in like mm. the jungle. So it was really what was nice. really nice there was that um, in the respect that we got recognized by some yeah. of the Sangat who would recognize that Karimi Singh through the Seva that they've done the past his family with Baba Darshan Singh Ji and then um, bases of Sikhi and the Seva as well that they've been doing um, and Baja Gadar Singh Ji, right? So one of the Seva that was there actually introduced us to Baba uh, Darshan Singh Ji, right? And uh, we got to uh, go and see the Pura Sahib where they did their intense meditation for many years. And then we got to sit with them as well, with Baba Darshan Singh Ji for about five minutes, five, ten minutes. Mm. And that was an amazing experience in itself. Um, because the, the Seva that was talking about what basics ha, have been doing and Baja Singh Ji and stuff like that. And uh, the stuff Baba Ji had to say about mm. um, Baja Singh is very really nice. Mm. So the, the Seva that was explaining to like Baba Ji, oh, this is what, about Baja Singh. And then he was saying so sad that he had cancer and stuff. And he, he like went when he's young. Mm. And then Baba Ji said that, but yeah, but he, he made his Janam suffer. Mm -hmm -hmm. And so that was really like nice when Baba Ji mm -hmm. said that. We were mm -hmm. like, wow, that, that's amazing. I know that. Even if you you went, they went young. They still made their denim suffer, right? They come and fulfill that purpose, right? Mm. Like someone could spend eighty years and not achieve anything in that respect, mm. but he's able to achieve that in the age of thirty-seven, right? Mm. Uh, so young, and so it was very nice to see, hear um, how Babaji spoke really highly of uh, Paiji Gurdas Singh Ji and the seva that they were they were able to do for the Pant and still doing today. Mm. Um, you know, even through this stuff, this is all through Paiji Sabji's blessings and their their own kamai. We'd say, right? So um, that was really nice. Uh, so we got to see the elephants, <laughs> the horses. Mm. Uh, what else was there? Oh, like birds, a lot of different types of birds. Loads of animals, stuff. yeah. Oh, birds as well, yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff. You he's got it now. He's got it. They even let, they even called the elephant. They was like, oi! And like, no, like, legit, like, legit. And, and literally, turned the elephant turned around and came and took mm. a picture of us. Mm. Papa, have you wow. seen the picture? No, I haven't. Oh, it's a really good okay. picture. Mm. Who took it? Not obviously not Rohan. Nah. <laughs> the same one that took it. The same one that took it. Yeah, and you know the craziest thing was that it was missing a fifth bundle. It would look perfect. The symmetry oh. looked perfect with a fifth person. Yeah. Oh God, was in it though. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, funny guy. I'm casting a child society. Funny so you man. went there for that was actually the uh, was that the day of New Year's? New Year's Eve, yeah. Yeah, uh, sick New, New Year's, Year's Eve, and there's a massive program happening at City Munji side. Yeah. Wow, how was that? It was really good. I, <laughs> chatting, <laughs> chatting, <laughs> chatting. Obviously, yeah. we're not gonna say it wasn't good, but yeah. so yeah, so yeah. it's a massive Gildan program at City Munji side, mm. and it was a great way to welcome the New Year. Mm. And at the same time, also my dad and. Uh, Sangat from the UK had mm. reached Amritsar and I wanted to go meet them as well and join on that Yatra too. And you did a bit of Seva as well? I did a time. bit of Seva at Hanmandar Sahib as well mm. um, for a few days and then... Well, you went to Sultanpur Sahib as well? I, I went to Sultanpur as well. I mm. went to the Asthan where Guru Nandev Ji came out of the river Anji. and they said the Moon Mandir. Mm -hmm. And currently there's a Asthan being built there called the Moon Mandir Asthan. So I got to partake in Kar Seva. Which is um, quite a unique experience. I've seen videos of people doing car seva and you know yeah. carrying carrying the cement on their heads and mm. things like that. But to actually partake in it was amazing. And I don't know if you've seen the building. I think maybe you can show some photos of it. It's like a three-story building, mm. massive, massive building, and there was scaffolding, really, really steep steps. And I got to go all the way at the top because mm. we were doing the car seva, like put, putting the. If you've ever seen a dome, you get. You get this uh, like kunda at the top. Okay. So we were actually there to put that on. Wow. And to be part of it was such an amazing experience. I was sending you guys photos of, of me eating uh, fruit at the top of the dome. Did you get those? Yeah. Thanks. So. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pictures you sent, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. at that time. And whilst you were doing that, and um, we was um going on another yatra. Yeah, you were. Yeah, we continued. We oh. went to Anandpur Sahib. Yeah. Uh, Kirapur Sahib. Mm. Then we went to uh, supposedly Bapur Sahib. Mm -hmm. well, God, the What's went. this supposedly about? Right? <laughs> so, do you want to explain? So my my mum's masarji, he took us in it. Oh. Um, he did, like, he's been doing taxi driving on that for years, and then uh, we were like, uh, uh, we want to go to this town tonight." And like when we looked at it on Google Maps, we were like, "Jal, it probably makes sense to go to Mkorsab first because that's like the furthest away." Mm -hmm. and then like it's all pretty much a straight line on the way back. We went to Mkorsab, then Anandpur mm -hmm. Sahib. No, it would be it would be Bepal Sahib. Oh, oh sorry, Sahib, yeah, yeah, sorry. Bapur Sahib, Anandpur Sahib, then Tumkur Sahib. Yeah. So Bapur mm -hmm. Sahib is where Guru Gobind Singh Ji wrote Siri Chope Sahib. Mm. And then Anandpur Sahib where they 
the Amr Sanchar, first 699 is famous for that as well. Yeah, yeah. Kirapur Sai, which is famous for like the sixth guru and the seventh guru, eighth guru. Kayon. And then, yeah, he said, no, no, that doesn't make sense. We'll go, we'll go another Buddha Sahib first. And I was like, say, obviously, who am I to tell you? The driver, you? Yeah. yeah, you know the dealio. <laughs> so we went another Buddha Sahib first. Mm. Went another Buddha Sahib. And then from there we went to Gita. We were then actually like, you know, we were like, yo, so like, if we can't do Gita Buddha Sahib, we're going to eat, like, because we were, all three of us had gone. But we were like, let's do Buddha Sahib. But um, he, like, and I was looking at your maps as well while we were driving when we left another Buddha Sahib. And <laughs> from another Buddha Sahib, we would have to exit and take him right, yeah? He turned left. So I thought, so maybe he's doing Gita Buddha Sahib and then he's going to take us to him. Uh, then he's going to take us to Buddha Sahib. Mm. But he took us to, it was a wicked Astana. It was very nice, one. yeah. It was like really scenic, really beautiful, yeah. So you didn't go to the real Bapur Sahib? Yeah, no, 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 we didn't. It oh. looked like Bapur Sahib. That's why he oh. took us there. It was by yeah. the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He so was, he he <laughs> was under the impression that was Bapur Sahib. But, I, you know, I, I no one told him. Yeah, we didn't tell him. So. <laughs> no one told him. But it was a really nice Astana. And there, there was, who, who's this? Uh, the ba- uh, Baba Jawala Singh Ji. Baba Jawala Singh. a river in a car. And he didn't drown. It was very nice at the house. It's in the vlog. But... That yeah. was they went to Chamkor yeah. Sahib as well. Yeah, that was well. that was really nice. Mm. That was really nice. Chamkor Sahib was beautiful and seeing yeah. as stars again, all in the vlog. Yeah. Uh, so that was a really cool experience yeah. doing all that stuff. And then the next day we went to Fatigar Sahib. Hanji. Mm. Uh and uh Godara is like Jot Sroops, Jot Sroopi or something? Jyoti Sroop. Jyoti Sroop, sorry, that's why we went mm. to that Astan as well, which is famous for I can't remember what it's famous for. Now, it's in the vlog. It's gone out of my head now. It's to do Mata Ji, I think. Mata Gojidi Ji. And the shortest said, I think that's where they um did this and scarred their bodies. And there's also a famous Mahapurush that used to reside there, right? Hanji. Baba Santok Singh Ji. Hanji. Mm. So this is all in the vlogs, the history of what happened at these mm. places. Um, if you, if you, you can even check it out on our basics channel by Harman Singh has done the Godara tours in a lot of detail. Um, ours is a bit more informal, just chatting more, uh, more kind of just asking So Sukhdeep Singh, you know, a <laughs> hundred times in the vlog. So that was mainly what happened there. And that was kind of the end of my journey. That was my last day. Right, you left mm. from there. I left from there and got my flight yeah, yeah. back. So I left on the 16th, I 16th. think. I think yeah. that's when Rowan went back home, right? To your pint. I went, yeah, I went. And the then, um, yeah, I went same day. Yeah. Yeah. And then me and Gunri carried our yatra on yeah. a little now, bit more. Gunri went to Chandigarh first, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I went to Chandigarh uh, for oh, yeah. a bit of seva with both his seva. So actually, Gunri yeah. Singh was meant to go home with me, innit? it? Mm-hmm. I was meant to go with Sukhdeep Singh. Extend his ticket. We booked the same ticket, but I had to extend it to stay and do some... Uh, like documentation basically mm. with both these here what do you do then so they they just they've created like an stand there where they started doing seva mm. and um they've got like a they had what they were currently working on was a hot liquid group so a handwritten guru Granth. so what is poti seva just for those that don't know as well poti seva is an organization that was started here in the uk in in west london and it's um, started by someone called Jasteep Singh. Mm. And so Jasteep Singh, he's done like a lot of conservation work. He does it full time, like a professional mm. uh, conservator, paper conservator. Um, and so he's done a lot of research in what's the best ways to conserve Siddhu Guru Granth Sahib Ji's roops mm. and like repair roops. So you know, like how we say, uh, when they say roops bird or roops got like damaged, how do we repair that roop? Mm. So that's what he's looked into And he's looked into the Pratan techniques Because obviously this would have been done From like Guru Sahib's time Anji. They would have had this knowledge On how to maintain And like what materials to use and stuff mm. So he's done all that research And um, he does that full time basically um, So from here it started And there's quite a few Seva Dars here mm. um, So if you want to learn about that Get in touch Because we can put you in touch with them And it's a really good Seva to get involved with mm. um, So they've started that as well in India In Chandigarh and um, there's Seva Dar there who he's trained up, the Steep Singh's trained up. And they they had got a handwritten sroop um, uh, that some Gyanni Singh had done. And um, that it was a really beautiful sroop. And so Poti Seva was just binding it, getting it ready for Hulla Mahalla. Okay. So they got it ready and then we took the Mara sroop from there, Chandigarh to Sri Anandpur Sahib. So we were taking the sroop to um, basically where Baba Avtar Singh Ji is like... Um, Area is in the Asthan in Anandpur Sahib. Mm. Um, so we, once once we got there, it was really nice as well because Babaji actually came out themselves, and they like did Jar Sahib and they got like all the Sangat ready and like took Maharaj Suru from there into Sachkhand from the car. So it was really nice. And then that was like the first time they did Prakash of that Suru and did a city of Khand part. Mm. Mm. And then that um, Khand part Bog happened on the Hola Mahalla day. My 
So what happened then? What would you, what would you guys do? I'm, I'm in England now, I'm uh, chilling. So we met in, in Huntsburg side then, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, so... And I was there as well. We were there for like four days. Did you vlog this stuff? Yeah, so... Even so, though the poor tea saver and then even when you met on Gar Singh? Yeah, 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 I made vlogs here and there. And we also met um, mm. Harpal Singh there. Oh. Yeah, the one of the things from Big Goal, Harpal Singh. Mm. Um, I met him earlier when I went and then um, we both went together to Anandpur Sahib again. So we vlogged the whole journey as well mm. with uh, by just me Singh, who's done yeah, a few exactly. podcasts. That's where I met you then, isn't it? Though? And then we met on card there. Yeah, well, what did you, what did you eat when you first got there? That was a nice meal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we we had been traveling quite a while, and if you imagine, it's so packed there, uh, Anandpur Sahib. There's like millions of people, literally, and there's no space to walk. There's just like standstill traffic for miles and miles. And then, so by the time we got there, our, actually our car broke down as well. We had a flat tire. Mm. So we got that repaired. And then, so there was such a long journey and it was so hot as well. And then by the time we got there, we were like dying to eat. And then uh, just randomly on car called me and he was like, oh, wait, why don't you come and have chips and beans? <laughs> and we so were, at, at, at the Astan where we were saying, mm. the Sangha's from England, they bought Heinz beans with them okay. to India. And so we were able to make chips and beans for the sangha to eat. How many beans did they bring with them? <laughs> Quite a lot. And okay. we had fresh cut chips as well. Oh, wow. So we had a nice English meal for the first time. <laughs> chips so, and beans. So on it. We, we it loved it. Really, really, really nice. So me and uh, the other things, we went and mm. met on guard sing and then had uh, chips and beans. Mm. Then we went on a bit of a, a tour, like Yatra. And yeah, we met uh, a different uh, Mahapush there as well. Yeah, we went to the different... Baba of Dar Singh Ji. We mm. met... Sant Baba Jaginder Singh Ji, mm. Buddha Dar. Mm. And that was actually quite nice to go there with Bai Jasmeet Singh Ji, mm. who has been on many the podcast times, yeah. many mm. times before. And that's the first time I've actually met Bai Sahib Ji. Mm. But uh, they've got a lot of knowledge of Buddha Dal and they've stayed in Dal many, many times before. Yeah. Mm. And to go with them there was, was a great experience. They showed us around all the horses and mm. we got to see the whole camp. And we got to actually sit with Baba Ji, mm. Baba Jaginder Singh Ji. And it was quite amazing that moment when they mm. opened the tent and they started doing Gatka. They started doing Gatka there, yeah. So we had we had a great experience mm. in the Nahan camps. You know what's cool is that like literally when we went to India, like yeah. all of us together as a collective and separately, like we went everywhere. Like we went to like a Taksali place, mm -hmm. uh, a Nahang place, a Nanaksa place. Mm. You name it, wherever Jatabandi is, we actually, it's very nice thing that we got to see, yeah. How beautiful Sikhi is that. I remember yeah, one of the yeah. podcasts you did kind of sing with me. And you talked about the Sikhi being like a garden. Mm. Like how, you know, how vast it is, isn't it? And stuff like that. And that, that's what you guys are experiencing as well. Mm. Going to, it was beautiful to see all the different like practices and the different yeah. jate. And mm. like the, the Nahang Singhs how were like living in a proper war camp. Mm. You felt like you were transported back a hundred, two hundred years. Because yeah. yeah. it's literally just like wooden like logs and then like a copper on top and that was their and there's tent like hay, hay and there's hay everywhere and horses and they would like be they would be shoveling yeah. the like horse poo and all that mm. it was crazy i got to do a bit of horse riding there as well yeah. did you in in, in uh, an anthropos no way yeah, can you ride a horse well i could on that day <laughs> <laughs> i didn't really know what i was doing mm. then the horse i got was like mm. a bit uh aggressive as well so Mm. That, was, that was a great experience actually doing the horse riding and mm. then on that actual day of uh, the whole La Mahalla, the actual celebration mm. we went to um, Baba Avtar Singh Ji's Dera and we went with them um, from there to the actual stadium where mm. they, they do all the like um, horse riding and all those yeah. battle games and stuff mm. and that was an amazing experience as well it was it was and there's, there's a, uh, people ask me how did you feel in Anandpur Sahib it's like a cliche to say but there was so much Ananda there. It was, it was, imp it was impossible to be unhappy. Mm -hmm. Every I think we were there for four days. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you just walked out, you, you couldn't help but smile. Mm -hmm. Because everyone around you is smiling, mm -hmm. laughing. I, Everyone's in Jaddik. Like, it feels that's like it. your home. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, like we say, Anandpur Sahib is meant to be our home. Mm -hmm. But it actually feels like that when you go there and you mm -hmm. have that whole, all the like Sangat and the atmosphere is just amazing, yeah. electric. Mm -hmm. That was my first hold lot. Yeah, same my well. first as well yeah. and uh, hopefully I want to go every year because mm. that's, that's how amazing it felt mm. and um, it reminds me of a sake if I, it just came to my head now yeah. I hope I don't get it wrong but it's um, it's when Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Divan Chamko um, um, Anampura Sahib with Baba Jeet Singh Ji and the Guru Sikhs and Baba Jeet Singh Ji I think it's them they get upset because they go this is the last time I'm going to come back to Anampura Sahib right and uh, Guru Sahib Ji is like this won't be the last time you know, like every year 
um, when this Holla Mahalla will, will be here uh, um, mm, wow. and put aside. That's what the Guru Sikhs say, isn't it? That you know, every year, Guru Guru Sikhs come for Holla Mahalla. You could Mahalla. definitely feel you, you a different feel, energy. Yeah? yeah, you could mm. feel that even by just meeting cover that um, he was talking about that Bachchan as well. Yeah. And that a lot of Guru Sikhs actually uh, get Guru Sahib's darshan while they're there. Why, Guru? So Hula, so you were with Baba of Darshan, do you? Mm. And the the lot of walk was very long, wasn't it? It was it was very tough. Walk. Scorching heat. Like when I mean scorching, I think forty nearly, isn't it? Yeah, it was around forty degrees. And yeah. uh, Gunnery, I think by after like four hours, Gunnery gonna hack it. He's like, I need to get water. And I needed water. And I said to him, if you get water, you're not gonna ever find us again because you have to imagine there's hundreds and thousands of sangha there, mm. and. Uh, but amazingly, we did actually meet each other back yeah, again. So I split off from them. Yeah. And then went and found some random, like, bought water bottles. Yeah. And then uh, literally, like, it was crazy because, like, my bag, the bag broke. I was like, I had probably given up. I was like, I'm just going to, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to die here. You know? And then. <laughs> he, was, he was being really I was, dramatic. I was actually. Was, was. Who's been the diva now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was because we were like um, malnourished or what do you call it? Dehydrated. Dehydrated. Malnourished. One day. Yeah. And it was a long walk. And it was a pushing as well. You have to remember. And it was and, a long And you have to keep uh, quite conscious. You don't go behind a horse. Because yeah. they'll, they'll kick you And like <laughs> It happened I'm not even joking I saw someone get kicked by the horse No way If <laughs> he did You could it on video I got it on video as well He <laughs> <laughs> did, did He got it on but video They're dangerous there The yeah, horses yeah, are aggressive yeah. in it Because yeah, they're yeah. like battle horses mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it was amazing though And then I got the water bottle The bag broke And then I thought Luckily I had my Zuri I just tied it Made a like makeshift <laughs> uh, bag Put the bottles in there Put it on my shoulder And then I was like Trying to find these lot Then I thought I'm just going to sit here Yeah Because <laughs> They, there was a path where it split into two roads and I saw Sangat coming from this way and that way. They were going in both directions. Yeah, and I was, I was bare yeah, confused. Do you like, know what it was? Do you know down there, there's a Gurdwara Sahib. Yeah. Sangat go to have darshan there first. Mm. So it's like a, like a you, you do a U-turn at the Gurdwara. Yeah, so I had no idea because mm. these lot went ahead. Yeah. And, then I just and he's saw, malnourished. So he doesn't so going on I just there. saw, I started seeing like 10 elephants come and then camels and like all the forge was coming yeah? Mm, yeah I was like this is crazy I just stayed there started taking videos and stuff mm. and then just Maharaj Kirpa these guys just turned up and they're like oh get me you're here yeah, oh, you oh. Did it. and what he did is you know because he's wrapped his uh, water bottles in his, his uh, hazuria and they were the big water bottles and he just opened it there and both the water bottles fell straight on there my was foot four. there was four they fell straight on my foot you know that? Oh, Sorry. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Straight but then, Is it okay what? now? And do you know what? I'm not lying, yeah? <laughs> if I do that, yeah, I can still feel it. I can still feel it. <laughs> All right, not going to lie. One month later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust then, me, trust me. After we had the water, we felt a lot better. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, um, we... we yeah, and still a long walk from there, though. And until the, the stadium. I just want to say one thing. The moment when I stepped into the stadium... I think for me, that was the highlight of my trip. Mm. And just walking into the stadium and then looking around... And I felt like I said to Ron after like you, know, you see adverts of like the kid walking into the football stadium and mm. then he looks around and he's like so happy. That's the exact do, thing. Do I you know what it reminded me of? Like, what? if have you seen that film Gladiator? No. When they walk into the arena and there's like thousands of people there and they're like literally cheering and shouting. It was, it like, was like that. There was millions of people are you there. Not entertained. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, and there's so much sangat even in the arena. Literally, mm-hmm. they were standing there and the horses were like galloping yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people were going in, in front of them. I felt like it was a game, wasn't it? That it is. It, a can game. I get can I get past the horse without getting tramp, trampled over? Yeah. People were playing that it game. It's very maybe. dangerous though. You have, yeah, you have to be yeah. careful. So a few tips we would say is take water. Be hydrated mm-hmm. and maybe go as a group so you don't 100%. get lost. And uh, it was actually, yeah, it was well. amazing to see all the different Nihang mm. um, uh, dals, right? Mm. So we had Baba Balbi Singh there from Buddha Dal, mm. and his army is vast, right? Like mm. I think 10, 15 elephants, camels. Yeah. Mm. He has a like hundred Nishan Sahibs. Uh, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's crazy, yeah. You it, vlogged this all, innit? It's, yeah, it's a feast I mean. for your eyes, right? It'd be amazing to watch. Sings, sings. Yeah, it's sings uh, nice, you know. Also, as well, you you get you're getting dashed with holy as well, color mm. everywhere you go. So. Mm. Uh, I got I got dashed with a lot of red, so it looked it, like uh, it looked like he had blood stains. Yeah, on him like and... I just uh, killed someone. And then you met your friend there as well. Yeah, so amazing thing was at Hermander Sahib, I met a French uh, guy, and his name is Cyprian. And uh, he was just walking around and I just happened to bump into him. Like and a Gora, I, isn't it? And I started speaking to him and this was his first ever time in India and his first ever time in Amritsar as well. Mm. And he knew nothing about Sikhi at all. It's mm. his first experience with Sikhs. 
And I just I was just telling him you know, the basic facts from the uh, leaflet that we believe in one creator and the boss of this and we have longer. Mm. And just by telling him these few things, which for me I thought were quite basic facts, he was in tears, crying, wow. and he just couldn't believe that Sikhi was such a such a beautiful thing. And I was I was really touched by it. Mm. And um, then I took him for Langar as well. And upon seeing the Langar in his in his thal, he started crying again. Mm. He just couldn't believe that there's such a thing that people are giving free food out mm. to others. And um, then he also got to meet Mahapur as well in Amritsar. Overall, he had a great experience and he had a plan now to go further on north to, I think people go to, is it Van- Vanasi and stuff like that? Varanasi and Yeah, they go to these places when they come on these trips, right? Mm. And I said to him, actually, you know, in a few days, we're going to Hulla Mahalla, one of the largest gatherings of Sikhs in the world. And uh, if you want to come, come. And he actually said, I'll think about it. And then I, we swapped numbers as well. And in Anandpur, he messaged me saying, I'm here. And I thought, okay, we're never going to see him mm. with the hundreds and thousands of people there. Mm. And just by chance, we bumped into each other and it was Cyprian. And uh, and he was covered in colour. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So was, much whole... He, he had the massive smile on his face. And when yeah. he saw us, he actually couldn't believe it. Mm. That he gave me the biggest, biggest hug I've ever had from anyone mm. here. And um, I think he had such a great experience in Hola. We actually gonna have this in the vlog as well. Mm. Cyprian. We interviewed Cyprian. him. Like took a yeah, little. We interviewed Cyprian wow. and That's really his cool. experience of Hola. And overall, he really, really loved it. Mm. And um, that was really nice. Sounds like a lot of great times. Yeah, mm. we had a really, really great time. Just on that little side note, it might not be as relevant, but like I remember in the picture, he was wearing like shorts, like quite short shorts and a t-shirt. I think it's like one one of own guys I think good qualities. Like when a non Sikh he sees a non Guru Sikh at the Guru God, he'll always approach them and make them feel welcome, huh? Mm. I think a lot of us sometimes we're like, and a keep mm. in the Guru's house, get him out of here. Mm. But like because on God showed him love and actually welcomed him, I look like like his interaction with Sikhs now and he had such mm. a good experience. I think we should like, when you do see non Sikhs and stuff, don't just think, mm. Oh, he's wearing shorts, get him out of here. Like I think it's important to show yeah. especially non Sikhs and that, show them show them Bidayam, mm. I think Akas is very good at that as well. Yeah, and then what happened next then? So you're from Holla Mahalla. Then from Holla Mahalla, um, then we travel back to Sidi Amrasa Sahib. Yeah. And in Sidi Amrasa Sahib, I was blessed enough to have a chance to do the gold saver, the mm. cleaning of the gold saver at Sidi Harmandir mm. Sahib. The so Sangat from UK go every year at Holla Mahalla to clean all of the gold on the outside. And it's it's actually quite amazing. We're doing the saver is how much pollution gets stuck onto the gold mm. and it takes around 10 days to do this ever and um what do you guys use to it's clean? very laborious we use very non-corrosive materials so there's uh, something called the soap berry and if you keep boiling it and boiling it it turns very soapy and so we use that to clean the gold so it's like a natural like a thing. natural yeah mm. and um while you while you while you are cleaning the gold so you're on you've got harnesses so you don't fall you can you can see how much dirt is coming off, and at the end of the day, my hands were all black, my clothes were all black with the amount of pollution that ha- has been stuck on the bar side. But it was very 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 blessed to do that seva, and I feel mm. immensely lucky that Guru Ram Das Ji allowed me to do that seva. Mm. And uh, at the same time, Karimvi was also at the bar side oh, with uh, also, Jasdeep Singh. Yeah, I was also there. With and Jasdeep I got Singh. to got to do join Karimvi as well mm. for a lot of time. We did, yeah. We went out and had more desserts, and more milk. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and, uh, but but you the didn't have Guru Ram Das to Langa. Guru Ram Das to desserts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the key thing is, uh, we were doing documentation with the uh, Bhutti mm. Seva of like um, different frescoes. Mm. So we went to uh, the Odasi Akari. So yeah. they, the the Gudara Sahib, they mm. call them like an Akara, mm. and um, we went into those, and it was is amazing. It's like we've been to Amritsar so many times mm. and we just walk past these places yeah. without even thinking about what Kajanna is inside. That mm. Right under her nose, literally, yeah. this amazing stuff. And we went into one of these uh, Dasi like places and uh, we just started chatting to the, the like Sewadar there and uh, we were like, we showed we were quite interested and then he said, oh, let me take you upstairs. So we went upstairs and it was like a locked room and he said mm. that Sangat don't usually come in here and it was all the four walls around us were covered in frescoes, like paintings of Guru Sahib. 
from mm-hmm. like Sri Nanak Prakash, all these old Sakya, and it's literally 140 years old, this room, and it's wow. untouched. Mm-hmm. And so we just documented everything in there. Um, and we just basically that's what we were doing with Bodhisattva like going to all these like smaller astan the number of and mm. finding them and trying to document them and these are all in the vlogs right again and, all, the access that we've given to you not all of it but most of it right like, even when we mentioned that the Ramgariya Bunga mm. Sahibs as well right yeah. underground mm-hmm. and that yeah. was cool how we got down there's like this secret like this little mm. f- what do you call it like a like a, like a, uh, a great a great is it called a greater yeah a greater so Get. that that isn't actually the original um, mm. entrance oh is it not there was actually two there was an entrance and exit mm. near Langar Sahib mm. um, but those were covered up obviously mm. for the Langar they needed Langar space it feels really cool and like mm. secretive when you're down yeah, there yeah, like, no, meant to be going oh, there like the know. dungeons like, yeah. <laughs> yeah literally it feels like, like mm. a, a it was like, they were like, were there prisons there as well? One, the top floor was the court of Jasa Singh Ramgariya. Hmm. And so it's quite cool because he, he, out of his Sharda, he said, I want to build my Darbar under Guru uh, under Sri Guru Ram Ji's Darbar. Hmm. So it's below the Parkarma of yeah. Darbar Sahib. And then below that, there's like jail cells and stuff like that. And there's a Dili Takht there as well, and they dragged it when they, when yeah. they conquered Dili and they brought it back. They brought the, it's not there, it's above yeah, uh, we, we, because we've logged down it, and yeah. they said, I'm going to drag this back. Yeah, so that, that actual takht at uh, Delhi, uh, where like Aurangzeb and all these people were, hmm. and where the, where they did all the rulings against the Sikhs, yeah. the Sikhs, once they took over Delhi fort, hmm. they they took that takht and dragged it back to Punjab, hmm. and then they put it there at the bar side. So it's a lot of, and the museum we went to as well, which mm. we couldn't vlog, that's there in the Parakarma. Central Sikh Museum is really good. There's amazing like artifacts and Shastra mm. and stuff there. So yeah. And then after that, then mm. Rovis, Rovis is in this painting didn't it, at this yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, also, we've met, um, we met a lot of Guru Sikhs from UK actually in, in, in India. Mm. Uh, uh, we, at, at that time in Amrit said there was a lot of Guru Sikhs. Yeah, we, so met. we met Sati as well, which is really nice. Mm. One mm. of our yeah, great friends from Sing, Sing's Camp. Sing's Camp UK. We're going to do a podcast with him soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. it's like he's amazing as well because he 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 recognizes people and he there was there was one singh there called Harjot Singh and he just recognized okay this guy could be from UK started speaking to him and recruited him for Singh's camp. So now Harjot Singh's coming to Singh's camp as well. <laughs> so just just a random. This was thing. A, it was in like a random alley in Amritsar, <laughs> and he, he's uh, he's doing Pratar there. But it's, it's really great to be mm. with Sai and. Uh, the brain that he, he has. He has a lot of charisma, no? A lot of mm. charisma, yeah. So it's nice. And then after that, you guys went to your dad's side? Oh, yeah. So you were still in Amrasar, mm. and then I I made my back to Rohan's bend. I just wanted to have a bit of experience in bend. And you missed Rohan, in it? Yeah, I missed Rohan as well. And <laughs> also, he had you had your family counterpart, right? Yeah, we had a family counterpart, luckily. Mm. Um, so, yeah. We were there for three days. Helped three out days. There. We went to Rakhba, which is amazing to see. Yeah, really nice. I've Again, always, yeah, we, so we saw. Just, uh, yeah, I've always wanted to go there. We saw by just meeting there as well, yeah, and then yeah. we also got to have darshan of Babaji every day. Yeah, but uh, what what is that Rakhba? Then explain. Like, but so there, it's actually a, an historical asthan as well, and that's where Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji rested. Mm. And uh, if you underneath the Balki Sahib at Rakhba, you can go down the stairs, and you can actually still see the stone that Maharaji sat on. Mm. And uh, that was that was really nice to see as well. Yeah, and it was great to see Babaji in a different setting. Like that's like their home, right? Mm. And the way Baba that Jigandar they Singh. Baba Jigandar Singh, the way they go on their walks, that was really nice to see. We got to see, like you know, like proper Nahangs, who who live the Nahang life all day, mm. every day. That mm. is that is their life. We got to see them as well. Mm. Got to see the horses. Yeah. And, um, that was really cool. Yeah, by just meeting is always it's nice yeah. for him to give us a lot of time. Know, like, mm-hmm. He just showed us around. Um, Bhavan was obviously keen to see the Gorday and stuff, so he mm-hmm. like, saw the Gorday again. Yeah, and it was, do you know what was really nice as well? When he went upstairs to the Dasri yeah, yeah. Dori, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, this awesome. one really jardi yeah. and the Hang Singh made us Shirdai fresh. Mm-hmm. And it was nice to see how they actually make it mm-hmm. with, um, you know, they use Masala. Yeah, badams, couscous, water, sugar. And we had that as well. And it was very nice. Really, really nice. I loved it. Mm. It's like a power yeah. drink, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, wakes yeah. you up. It's like a protein shake mm. kind of thing, isn't it? Like your original you protein shake. Your, your, <laughs> your original, your original vegan milk, right? That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legit. Vegan milk, and that was day one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. of, well, of well, the con part. That, that when you, while you was the, while you came, we'd go there in the morning, mm. yeah. and then go back again in yeah. the evening. Then the, on the second, we went to Rarasa, which is amazing. Yeah, that's sick. And uh, that was sick. did we document that? You might have, wouldn't it? You probably would have, no? 
can't remember. You took a lot of pictures because yeah. you because then it was uploaded on the channel, right? Yeah, we we went with uh, Rohan Veer, Rohan Veer's mum, Madi, Bhavan Veer, and Rohan Veer's dad's mum, Madi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was such a lovely person to be around. Yeah. She really she really made my day that day. Yeah. yeah. Being around her, so we we went to Radha Sahib, and it was very very beautiful at Radha Sahib because my first time being there, and I think it was very like a like a close connection thing for me because my my grandma's side of the family. I've had a lot of sangat with Sant Isha Singh Ji Maharaj, Radha Sawade, and my great granddad took Amrit from their hands, which is uh, such a blessing. Mm. And uh, to to go there and to see the Bora Sai where Maharaj did um, top and just we've seen photos of it, but being there was a different different experience. Yeah, mm. and to see where they used to sit on their kursi and the umbrella still there, they've got a lot of history still there preserved, right? Mm. Yeah, and. Um, and we also got to meet the Mukh Sewadar of the San, Sant Baba Baljinder Singh Ji. Oh, you got to meet them? We got to My meet Baba Ji. Mm. Um, which is, you know, because they, they do a lot of projects as well. They're very, very they busy. They travel quite a lot. Mm. Travel quite a lot. Mm. They were actually going somewhere. Yeah. And we're very, very lucky yeah, that we did. Time. Just in time. Just in time. Got to see them. And they actually blessed us with some time as well. Mm-hmm. To sit with them, even though they were going to leave. Mm. They sat with us. They talked with us as well. Mm. And that was definitely a blessing to see. Also to see all Maharaj's stuff, like they've got their perfumes there, their Mali mm. shoes, shoes. Yeah, 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 their Maharaj's uh, weights, weights as well. I got that. Did you not I see the weights? Mm. It's like the old school. Do you know the, when you see the photos of like a who's that? Who's that wrestler? I thought you said Arnold for a second. Oh, I was I that, I was like, Do you know the one who played Hanuman in Ramayan? Oh, it's comes back to Ramayan, isn't it? <laughs> How are we meant to know By the actor who played Dara, Dara. Hanuman? Is it Dara Singh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like that. About, I know you're you about. know those old school photos and yeah, he's holding yeah, I know something. You're about, I know you're so Mara has old school weights there as well. Yeah, and you went to Radio Sab as well? From yeah, we went to Radio Sab as well. We weren't actually planning on going there, were we? No, we wasn't. But yeah, Radio Sab um, is famous for their Mahapurush. Yeah, Sant Atta Singh Mara. Yeah, so when we were at Dara Sahib, there was the Babaji there who said to us, you might as well go to Radio Sab as well. But I'm so glad we did go there. Yeah, the amount of Gurdwara there was immense as well. So there's mm. a there's a historical Gurdwara there. The Boras of there was sick as well. Uh, so that's where Guru Gobind Singh Ji, when they were Uchda Uchda Peer, mm. and they changed their roop, mm. they did a uh, Vishram there at the Asthan, and then first, yeah, it's also the Asthan where Sant Atar Singh Ji did top as well, mm. and we got to go to the Bora Sahib, which was really really amazing experience, mm. and um, like we've seen photos. Photos of it, but being there was something else, wasn't it? And to see the the um, well as well, yeah, yeah, we yeah. got to do mm. that, touch that well. Overall, really, really amazing mm. experience. Uh, that was kind of the end of the yatra, right? Yeah, that really was. Yeah, and, and then you I, guys went back to Delhi, innit? I, I left from Amritsar Sahib and picked him up on the way. Yeah, met Rohan Veer Singh Huni, and then we went to Delhi. Yeah, then in Delhi, mm. just went to Bangla Sahib, had a quick darshan. Mm. And it was nice in the evening actually, I got to go to, because on that day it was Sant Isha Singh Maharaji's birthday. Not wasn't, it, wasn't it your birthday? It was my birthday as well, but oh, that doesn't wow. matter. That doesn't <laughs> matter. Yeah. It was Sant Isha Singh's birthday. Oh, I agree. So I just, I know that when it's their birthday here in South Hall, um, there's a there's always a program at Nanakshar, hmm. a Pog or something. And the interesting thing about Nanakshar Gurdwari that are from the Asthan of, um, that are from Sant Baba Gurdev Singh Ji, is that they all look the same and they all have the same riyadha and the same timings for everything. So I thought, let me go in that evening of what I remember from the South Hill timings. And I got there and it was exactly the same as South Hill. <laughs> it looked the same as all. Well. Everything, the whole timing, the schedule was the same. Mm. So I kind of felt like I was back back home. Mm. So that was a nice thing. And then that evening we caught our flight back home. Yeah. And um, it was my birthday. So we mm. did cut a little cake in the airport, which mm. was nice. My and um, that's it. We came yeah. back home. You know, listening to all this stuff now, yeah. I feel like I want to go back to India. Again. <laughs> yeah, same, same. And I feel like I want to go for longer. Yeah. Like f- I went for three weeks. Uh, you guys went for three weeks, and three you, weeks. Went, you went for about four weeks. Yeah. About five weeks. Five weeks, and it feels like I think five weeks is a five six weeks mm. is a good amount of time because that way you know some days we felt like we were rushing in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like if you have a good. Whole week in Hazur Sahib, mm. about three about two three days in mm. Patna Sahib, mm. and then just do the rest in Punjab. 
it's but, but we were discussing this like in future we need to do uh, like group yatras mm. with like we can take sangat and like maybe yeah. even a sings camp yatra would be really mm. cool to do yeah, yeah. so yeah. you if you're if you're watching yeah <laughs> he knows <already. laughs> yeah. but definitely i know a lot of people when they saw the pictures that you guys are posting online mm. and when i came back so i didn't post nothing like oh india look great how do you know they go because you saw the pictures like who's the person go kind of weird kind of weird and I told kind of weird thing because I just I just um, shared well I'm guarding yeah, I sharing. didn't even post much I was reposting the, these mm-hmm. guys but I think they all like you know and they'll say themselves I'm so jealous and all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. that child is good who's get it but like, it just do shows it. that they have so many people have, have the itch to go as well mm-hmm. isn't yeah, it so on hopefully who knows maybe next year yeah, yeah, yeah. if we've got a WhatsApp we've got India 22 in it maybe we've got yeah. India 23 mm-hmm. and uh, we could do stuff where more people could come with us yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, for a few weeks, and we can just plan something. Yeah, and do like stuff the, we probably missed so much out right now, mm. but it was it was just such a great great experience. Mm. To be it was because like, we, we've finish. literally condensed like five weeks into like two hours. So yeah, it was, it was, but it was amazing. And mm. this look out for the vlogs. Basically, I yeah. think we should finish off with one last thing. Mm. If you could sum up two moments, mm. everyone quickly, not too long, um, of your your most favorite fame uh, favorite spiritual experience. And just funny experience um, from the trip. Mm. You start off then. Anything first then? Because you're obviously thinking about that. You had this question lined yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, so it gives us time to I'll say for spiritual experience, I'll say for me is when I when I was first there at Blanc Bodhisattva. There's a very nice experience I had with a lot of the Guru Sikhs that were there. Mm. That taught me a lot as well. So I'd say the Blanc Bodhisattva. I'll say for funny experience, it'd probably be the Ankar Singh's banana story. Oh, that, was funny <laughs> that was the funniest experience. I never <laughs> laughed so much because of what Karami Singh said after. Yeah, yeah, Ankar yeah. Singh did what he did. So can we just share that story? Oh, you know, go, on then, go on then, go on then. Because I've tried to tell it what, earlier. What Gutara Sai was it? Um, it was <laughs> one of the ones like, like the museum. He, he the museum. Was it Hirakart? No, no, it wasn't Hirakart. It was right, it was next to... It, it, we'll, we'll put it in this dude. Yeah, we'll be in the yeah, vlog. Just tell the story. The just tell the story of it. Yeah, you tell it. So, you tell it good. So we, we went to the Goddara Sahib. We were entering the Goddara Sahib and there was like a, like a lady there with, who's selling bananas, right? She had like a couple um, like baskets of bananas. Mm. And then on Gar Singh saw that and he, I don't know what, just clicked in his mind. He thought, I'm going to buy a banana. And then he went there. Did she approach you? you? No, she wanted to sell me a whole bucket of bananas and there was probably around basket. No, but first she was giving you a small basket okay even that had like 50 bananas in but there. he he said to her let me go and take it i'll come back in it yeah. so he he proper left her in suspense yeah mm-hmm. yeah go and carry on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we went there, did Matate. And we were meant to do like 10 minutes, but then we spent like an hour there because hmm. we, we were like talking about the history and we had a nice like conversation in the, that's in the vlog. Yeah. And then when we came down, she was obviously raring to like sell the bananas to us. And on God had given her that hope. Hmm. And so uh, she was like, yeah, just take all of them. Take all of them. No, no, no. You're not telling no. it well, man. You're not telling it well. So, she, she so first you were given bit. the small basket. Yeah. You're, like, well, you're Yo, saying you... small basket with like 50 bananas. No, in there. it wasn't no, 50. Maybe it was like 20. 10, yeah, 15. Yeah. So you're no, giving no, them the small no, no. basket. More, more. Small basket for how much? What, 100 rupees? Or 100, even less than that? 100 rupees, yeah. Or maybe even less, isn't it? It was less. Bananas are expensive in India. No, but it was even less, yeah. She was giving them a small basket for like 50, yeah. For like 50 rupees or whatever. And then he goes, oh, bro, that's so deep. Like... Her bananas are about to go off. She's good, but she's gonna give me all these bananas for just a hundred rupees. Mm. And I thought, like, "That's easy, it? You want to?" Like, I was like, "But first thing, I was like to him, I was like, bro, what are we gonna do with all these bananas in it? <laughs> I was like, bro, we're not gonna like, we're not gonna even gonna be in Manchester morning because I'm not. I'm, I'll, we, we can have some. Then I'll like do dance to the guru girl. I was like, "That's easy, it? Mm. That's all right." And then he goes, "But bro, like, she's she must be so desperate that she's willing to give me like all, all like that many bananas for just a hundred rupees." Mm. So he goes. No, but he goes have five hundred, <laughs> yeah. and the uh, and she she was even she was looking at him like, <laughs> She's what? like going on yeah here. what and then he goes no no you I'll do this give me your whole your bigger basket yeah give me the bigger one then yeah. I'll take all, I'll take all of those for five hundred I'll do down to the I was like boo first what what are we gonna do with twenty bananas you're taking the whole basket now <laughs> yeah. yeah and then he goes then <laughs> luckily he goes I'm not gonna work me kind of he he then kind of goes he, now he's taking a bigger quantity he's mm. gonna take all of her bananas mm. and he goes. But I can't take all of her bananas for just two for just uh, two hundred or five hundred. He goes, "Hey, take a grand." 
<laughs> you give another five. He's pulling out another five. Do we like bro? Like, <laughs> we like bro. Chill. Like she, she's fully retired now. Yeah. And the funny thing is that Cody Six is the most relaxed person you're ever gonna find yeah, anywhere. He was like, and bro, he got, what and you got doing? shocked. And what did you say to him? The funny that was really funny. What you said. What did you say to him? The economics. I stuff. said you ruined the economics of the whole. You ruined the market in the, the marketplace <laughs> economics. Now everyone, that, anyone who looks at Aunt Carson that comes to a zoo side is gonna be harassed with bananas. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna take. They're gonna have us off them. Yeah. Like overcharge mm. now. But we did taste a few, and He's they cool. were really nice, weren't they? <laughs> they should be for that price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on guard calls hyperinflation of bananas. In, uh, in, in, in so the... that was my favorite spiritual and funny experience mm, as well. Yeah. Going to OVT. The funny one. That's hundred percent mine. That's as well. same, that was yeah. too funny. You know, oh, either, oh, oh, either, oh, you can't use the same make one. Make a new one. Yeah, that or when we were doing the Bansarovla Shnan and him and Bavan Veed. Obviously, when we were doing the jumping. No, you can't put my name into that. I wasn't shivering. And that's why for the other the other Shnan, I had to start with you. No, it's funny because we'd be standing in a like five of us are this and then we'd be going down the stairs and oh, Ron was like so chibi I don't understand, yeah, I don't understand. Like, I it's, understand it's because either. we were trying to be serious and like concentrated with Jeffrey Tive and all we hear is them making sounds like <laughs> <laughs> And he got upset because he wouldn't stand next to him as well. That was quite funny. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> what was the spiritual one then? Spiritual probably Hazur Just yeah. everything about Hazur mm. Everything. What about Hazur Sab? I used to get so happy just walking down the street. Just mm. I was just saying, no, I'm just walking mm. down the street. You know, actually, you know what Hazur Sab? Because like, especially on the last day, yeah, because the Barakarma as well, when the, when the doors are open, mm. it's like, no, nah, no, nah, let me do it one more time. Was that, let me do it one more time. Because like, the looking into Satchikhand is just, just sick. It's mm. beautiful. Sick. And the Domino's is nice. I ain't gonna lie, man. Mm. Go on, go on, go on Spiritual, I think definitely has all side as well. Because mm. I think when I got there, I, was, I wasn't being skeptical. Mm. I was just, I just didn't know the, how great of an experience it would be. Because mm. I've only really had like intense experiences at Amrita Yeah. Um, but the experience there was on another level. And I think Herrera mm. Saib was... Mm. Especially when they used to say "sugal duar go chard ke," and that used to like kill me. I used to think, "Why, Guru? I'm just hearing it. Mm. I'm at your door right now." Mm. And um, yeah, that was that was probably the most spiritual experience, funny experience. I think it was all funny. Mm. Like this, just this guy is just hilarious all the time. Mm. And uh, can you give us one, man? One. one <laughs> When I was waking him up on the airplane constantly, oh, and he was getting funny, so bro. angry, and I was, I was, I was just laughing. What was he waking up for? He's just an idiot. I was thinking, I was thinking, <laughs> yo, we we're traveling together. Like I could have just gone on my own if if you weren't gonna talk to me, innit? So this guy, this guy sleeping, oh, this crazy. guy sleeping on the plane. But I'm, I'm waking up and I'm like, bro, you want to have water, I, or bro, you want to eat. And he is getting vexed at me. But I said, when I'm asleep, I don't want anything. I want to sleep. <laughs> yeah. No, but at least I had, you gave me your croissant and all that as well, innit? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> no, no, that, 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 for me, that was funny. That's nice. Just seeing him get angry, it was hilarious. <laughs> and then I told him, I said, it. under no circumstances do I want to be woken up. I was <laughs> like, unless like, there's an emergency, I was like, bro, just don't wake me up. <laughs> but he didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was, was loads of funny moments, innit? There yeah. was a lot of funny like, stuff. Put on the spot, well. it's hard to think about it. There was, about a yeah, there was a loads of funny, man. funny moments. Mm, on, for, for me, I would say funny moments. You've all kind of no. said the same. Yeah. Can't, you can't, we're gonna let you finish the chess one. And uh, nah, because we need. Nakal, just say that, didn't we? We done that, didn't we? Okay, my my spiritual experience, I'd say, would be Hola Mahalla. Mm. Like just seeing the Sharda there and the, how much the Sangat really like were wanted to go there. Like mm. literally, they were they were speaking to the drivers and they were like, we would get our tractors ready months before, mm. like pimp it out with speakers and stuff, and like get the trailer ready for like this. The, all the bind while they would go on one tractor. Mm. So they'd all sit on the back of the trailer yeah, so, mm. and like, they'd travel like hours and hours to get to Siri and Anpur side. Oh, so mm. there's so much Pyar and so much like Sharda they had, it was really nice to see all that. And what about your funny mm. experience? And funny, you're just seeing your face every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my no, funny one, so we've got to be seeing. When we was at Blanford, like, I woke, we, woke, we used to wake up really early, go to Kirpa, yeah? And it was a storm in the morning. Right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was a huge storm. <laughs> and it's like one o'clock in the morning, I'm having a bath, yeah? It's not, I'm like, bloody hell, it's so windy. I'm like, I hope the bidgety, I hope the electricity doesn't go because I'm not gonna see nothing here. Yeah? And literally, I did my Ishnan, I come out, and he's got, uh, he's he's got up now, and he's going to have his bath, and uh, and I'm I'm in the getting changed in the room, and the power goes. Mm. I'm like, oh, power's gone. I'm like, I wonder if God of Isig needs any help because he might be able to see it because it's dark in it. All I hear is burp in it. I had a burp from the, and I thought, oh, he's all right then, isn't it? Then I went to go brush my teeth with my um my phone in it, 
I was a liar. And I'm like, it's kind of weird thing saying, so deep thing, is that you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Is he goes, can you put the line? I can't see nothing. <laughs> but that was quite surreal because I had to like have a shnan, pitch black. Yeah. Literally, I couldn't see in my own hand. <laughs> and then, but so, uh, yeah, you, you imagine how people would have done it back in yeah, the day, right? Yeah, like, it's, it was quite crazy. But the funniest thing about the experience is that, God, we took ages in the bathroom because <laughs> we need to be at the god of yeah, how, how do you expect me today if i can't <laughs> no, see i'm not talking about that day i'm talking about in general because we need to be there for two o'clock yeah and my man's still in the bathroom at two o'clock i'm like what are you doing in there he goes look first i have to wash the balti after wash the um after wash the little balti in the balti that i put the water on me i go wash the bucket the bucket in the bucket oh, wow. i goes then i gotta wash my phone <laughs> No, no, and then the, I got to wash my cachetta. And the little bench thing that he's, he's got to wash the bench. He's got to wash himself. He's got to wash his cachetta. No, but then he's got to wash his phone. You, That's how many things you need to wash, bro? You, because in India, you can't be too careful. You know, it's better to have cleanliness mm. and just. That. And also, I think that one thing that uh, people say when they go to India is they sometimes get unwell. Mm. But Guru's good, but most of the time we were being quite safe, right? Yeah. Mm. So like drinking uh, bottled water and mm. eating from like Guru, like Guru Galangar and. Mm. And other songs, right? <laughs> so stuff like that. So yeah. just Keep avoid like love. street food or any dodgy stuff like that, which could yeah. upset you. No, I think that's, that's think, a good point to finish off. Yeah. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences. They're really It brings it back. It's very nice. Yeah. I think in a few years, we can look back and think that was... Yeah, mm, and I'm really so glad time. that we did actually vlog it and document it. Yeah. Mm. And now for like, you know, our future generations to come, mm. they can see, oh, you know what? Like, these guys did actually do a few things. Cool things, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you could do more in the future as well yeah, no, and just keep growing again better. So, the whole point uh, we thought it would be a good idea to also make a podcast yeah. um, just to introduce that these vlogs are going to be coming out in the yeah. next few weeks as well. Mm-hmm. So, cut everything, please edit them as well. And it'll also be great if uh, people can, if they've got questions, right? Yeah, in the comments about mm. what if they've got any doubts about Yatra or mm. if mm. they want to ask or, something. or how to like, like uh, practical tips of how yeah. we found drivers. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, 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 like yeah definitely. We, we made a network there where we we made these contacts and because you don't even have to get off. rooms people how don't know to, that yeah, 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 yeah. getting ripped off for these kind of because when they see you from outside yeah. taxi drivers are going to charge you 400 yeah. rupees instead of 70 <laughs> rupees right because so, we now we have like amongst us we have got quite a good network now yeah and we can give contacts out of mm. different things so like trusted people trusted yeah mm. also let us know if you want to go on a yacht next year leave in the mm. comment section and we can always check next year and then email and stuff like that or just send out a, a message on social media and who knows we're not saying we're going to but if we do then mm. that'll be great so thank mm. you so much man thank you so much for the great experience yeah, no. and thank you for listening and please give um all the mistakes that we made if you've offended anyone with anything that we said mm. and then we apologize again it's just us having a, a bit of a laugh at the same time enjoying our experiences and all and sharing those with you guys and uh giving that sikhi that sikhi to it as well on the side sikhi there's nothing sikhi can be fun sikhi is meant to be fun as well mm. uh, as well as you know connecting to Guru Sahib and stuff so um, yeah should we finish off there? Okay, Jee Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa Vai Guru Ji Ki Fateh